Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, you guys, welcome back to another episode of Cheese Mode with Duno. What's and up? we got the man himself. Yes, sir. What's up, Poppy? How you doing? The auto is here on Cheese Mode with Duno. How you doing, my guy? I'm good. I'm good right now. I'm chilling. I just came back from uh, from Chicago. <laughs> Fuck. Chicago. Are you uh, ever home? Uh, you know what? I've I've you know I'm in, I'm in the very fortunate position to to be able to 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 kind of decide when when I get to be home. So yeah. Uh, right now I I do you know I got I got the boys at home you know two boys. Yeah yeah. And then um so I tried Mondays and Tuesdays like that's when I try to get home. Yeah. And be home. Um you know Wednesdays and Thursdays is when I spend time with the kids and then the weekends are for the. For work. For the work, for the job. Yeah, so I got to balance. I got to balance it. I got to be careful. You know, I got to make sure I, I have studio time and then also just like time off, you know? So yeah. it's like I got to decide, pick and choose. But sometimes, like this past weekend, uh, we had a show on Sunday. Usually we get home on Sundays. So, um, you know, flying in is uh, on, on, a, on a Sunday, you know, you get the rest of the evening off. You, you feel like you have a little cheat meal. You don't yeah. feel guilty. You know, we'll start, Facts, especially we'll if you've been fresh, working all day. Yeah, we start fresh Monday. But now nah, we landed, it was Monday. We were like, damn, well, let's just pretend. <laughs> let's just pretend. <laughs> let's just pretend. We were like, ah, oh, but it's not It's not Sunday, though, you know? But like, oh, so, so my wife, Michelle, she was like, you know what? I'll just make, I'll make pizza. So we didn't order out, but we still had, you know, you know. Is that like a little cheat meal? Yeah. Then she made pizza, like, like she like did the dough herself. Oh man, my wife makes, yeah, she makes the most amazing pizza. Damn. She makes vodka pizza. Have you tried vodka pizza? Vodka? Yeah, they actually use vodka, bro. You know? Never. That's some white shit. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like some Russian <laughs> shit. No, so um, so uh, it's actually yeah, vodka sauce is like a, a popular thing, but uh, there, there's a vodka pizza. And uh, she, you can buy it, but she, do, she does everything from scratch, bro. She makes a dough the night before. She lets it rest, sabe que, like fucking sabe yeah. que. She needs the, the, she needs to. What was it called? There was, there was a shortage during during COVID. Uh, fucking yeast, whatever. Oh yeah, shit. So uh, and then um, yeah, she makes amazing vodka pizza, bro. Every time she makes it, it's an event. Like my team, my family, everyone's like, well, let us know what she's gonna make. The it. vodka pizza's <laughs> here. So yeah, like right now I'm building out the backyard. I want to do a. Pizza oven for sure. A pizza. My um, <laughs> that's was, not good for me, bro. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, you know it's crazy. My um, and, and 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 you could only do a pizza oven if you live in a really nice house. So I was like, you know, daughter lives in a really nice house. You guys, I'm it's put humble. It's humble. It's humble, but it's still nice. It's humble. You know what? I almost got convinced to live out over here in the in the hills a couple years Who's back. Who's trying to convince you, your team? Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a really bad guy. Know, <laughs> he, I said, Donnie. <laughs> my boy was down. He was and my boy. Oh, and then I was, I was, yeah, I was like a crazy house, like down the street from Steve Aoki. And you were like, let's let me join I don't the like DJ those hills, gang here, bro. I don't like those hills. You're so anti it. I don't like those hills. I know we live on a fault. You know, like I don't know, bro. <laughs> you know, it's coming. <laughs> like, 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 are, are, is it humble where like you could walk to a liquor store? Yeah, just well, yeah. Well, it's it's literally like it it yeah. It's 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 a beautiful community. It's new. Um, everyone's cool. Everyone's all fans. Every time I like, every time I play like EDC, I always, we have we all have a group chat, bro. It's a crazy group chat. You have a group chat with your neighbors. Well, everyone, because bro, it's crazy. No one could go in. Everyone, if 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 you're an unknown person and you're lost, as soon as you walk, you drive in, people are like, who the fuck is this? Motherfucker <laughs> in the white Ford walking, they're driving in right now, and then like, oh, he drove in at this time, and it's it's, it's pretty badass though. They're then they're, they're they're all great people, but um, did they but, know yeah. who you were? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, uh, you know, yeah, that that's probably the 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 plus about the the whole neighborhood is that we're all really connected. So it's like it it, it really helps with security, and yeah. and. And they respect your boundaries. Yeah. Oh, they're cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Fire. They're fans. I hope they're fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm like building out my, my my studio right now, and I'm gonna have to like go out and tell them, you know, like yo, like uh, you know, like can you hear this? <laughs> you know, I gotta make sure. <laughs> I gotta make sure the sound levels are. Legit, no. Yeah. Because it's residential area. So that's because I'm thinking like phone. if you were my my neighbor, right? And like you just you're in my group chat, like oh, what are you guys doing Saturday night? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. De Aro. And, and like, oh, just fucking DJing? Can I come? <laughs> like, that'd be some cool shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's some fire shit. <laughs> yeah. That's some super it's dope cool. shit. Yeah. And when you were choosing this neighborhood, where the obviously you have kids, did, were you like, did you run it by them? That's like, why, you? that's why, yeah, that's why I ended up in that area because it was closer to the kids. I, I you know, I, um, I mean, I could have done LA, but. No, that's burnt out. 
it's just the traffic too and everything. I like quiet. I'm calm, you know, I like quiet. Yeah. Um, you know, and then my wife, she's she's like she's from up north. Her her I like I like visiting her family, bro. She's from like she's from Livingston. You know where Livingston's at? It does in between like like Merced, uh Oh, uh, she's like in the desert, desert. Central <laughs> Valley. Central Valley Central Valley. Oh, sure. it's ugly right there. No, 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 People got like three face, eyes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're beautiful. What do you mean? I married one. <laughs> no, she's she, 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 she the one of a kind. Yeah, she's be, uh, it's, it's beautiful. She's, her family's from Michoacan, you know, and like there's straight rancho out there. Oh, that's for yeah. For sure, they're, hood, they're, they're like rancho. But that's why she knows how to make pizza. It was boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, she's got it in her, bro. So, um, yeah, man, I mean, uh, I'm very, yeah, I'm very calm. I can't do the whole fast life in the city and all that. Like, I, you know, like when, when I think my manager lives in Miami and like in the city, you know, he lives on like a fucking 50 floor. And like I always tell him, I was like, bro, I'm probably never gonna see your house, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time, I, I like, I like, I don't know, I, I tenía cojones, way. I don't know what was. I was just like, I'm down, bro. I'm down to check it out. I'm down. I'll fucking just, I'll suck it up. I'll fucking, I'll, I'll, you know, because I get soup like hell anxiety. Yeah. When I when, of heights, you know, like I can't even see you go to the edge. Like I will fucking start to panic. Bro. Yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah. I mean. He's a beautiful home. So did you go see him? Huh? Did you did you make it to like the twentieth floor? And you're like, oh, I'm on my way back down. I think I, I went up to one of my um, so my other manager. He, I went up to one of his damn. How many managers you got? Uh, well, it was his partnership. So it's so, oh, um, I was like, holy you know, shit. My Steven, Steven and Berman. Uh, Berman is my my my, my the main manager. One. Yeah. But yeah, I went to Steven's apartment. It was a beautiful apartment, and uh, it was like an apartment just for the floor is just it's just for that apartment. Yeah, it's just for that apartment. I think it was, I think it's divided in two or something, but yeah, bro, I was just like, I'm too high. It's too high. <laughs> like I was, I was not like I didn't even. I don't. I can't. I can't tell you. You don't want to like jump. I can't tell you what the fuck the floor looked like. I can tell you. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to any of it, bro. <laughs> I was just like, I need to get down. But uh, it's crazy. And it's all Give me mental. My check, bro. Hurry up. <laughs> it's all mental, bro. It's you know. Damn, that's, that's anxiety, a trip. Anxiety through the roof. But then I com I compare that to like, you know. Uh, other phobias that people have, you know, that like, like, like when people can't see like things with holes in them, you know, yeah. like trapophobia, you know, they just get it, and, and I compare it to that. And I'm just like, oh, that, that's how you feel. You know, you can't but what about it. when you're on stage and obviously you're like in full, like we're big, we're big guys. Like I've seen you do some shit where I'm like, uh, gravity's not in your favor, though, though. Uh -huh. And you're like dancing with Valentino Khan going back and forth, and I'm like, you one wrong step, it oh, might yeah, be yeah, a yeah, yeah. No, for sure. I, that's why. No, for sure, man. It definitely like performing. You gotta, you know, keep in mind uh, of, of you know jumping on the stages. And I see these pictures like your your Timmy trumpets and and your Steve Aoki's that they're they're like I don't know how high off the ground. And I'm saying, you know, you're coming back down, right? <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like bro, a little bit old. You know, if you don't weigh nothing, I'm sure. It, it, it ain't too much damage. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. And, and I could just imagine you just like, dog, it's because I'm I, I'm a big guy and, and I did graffiti growing up. So I've always thought about shit like that. Like, I'm like, oh shit, when I was like in these high buildings, I'm like, holy fuck, I could have died. Oh, you, oh you're not, you weren't afraid of heights like that? I definitely was a bitch, but I would just have to suck it in for the spa. I mean, I think when nah, you if you were If you were up there, then you weren't, okay, yeah, you 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 were. I was scared. You have, you were aware, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I was aware, but it's, like, it's kind of like how you, like, I think when you're DJing, you don't think about it too much because you're DJing. Oh, you know what? I, I, I Okay, yeah, so there's been stages, bro, where... I'll get up, right? I'll get up. I'll go off, and I'm like, "Chinga su madre!" I'm already up here. You know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I look at my photographer. I look at my photographer. I'm like, "I got, I got to take the fucking photo, bro. Take the photo. I'm getting back down, bro." He's, and he's like, "Oh, come over here." I'm like, "Fuck no!" Okay, so it's like caída, bro. Like like 50 feet. You know, uh, like EDC is probably one of some of the biggest stages. Uh, I know some big stages all around the world, and 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 uh, usually they have like these like like crazy. You know they have the fucking DJ on a crazy pedestal. It's like fucking he's yeah. like god and shit. And like and um yeah, and they have these crazy fucking drops, you know? And uh it, it gets it gets pretty scary because once you, you look over, I mean for everyone it looks all pretty the way the stage is and everything. But you look down and you see all the all the all the poles and shit and you're like fuck. And you're like, oh shit. Yeah, it gets it gets pretty yeah, it does get nerve wracking. No and I've been and, scared for sure. And 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 I've seen it. I know the EDC one in the United States, but I seen the one in Mexico, in Mexico City, mm. and that one look high as fuck, bro. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I wonder if this, but that one you really couldn't stand, you couldn't stand on the thing because they had like a, 
like a yeah, tarpeta yeah, yeah. covering yeah, you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's, depends on where you're playing. Um, like if you're doing main stage, it's like really small. It's like a just like a little, yeah. Sometimes it's like a tent almost. Sometimes they yeah. put something over you and stuff. But yeah, but it's still massive. They create this this huge structure that you got to get in through, and it's just like it's insane. And it's cool. You know what's cool when you're going under the stages, under all that stuff. Like there's like a city of hammocks. The, all the people that built the stages, yeah, they're asleep. Uh, they're like during the shows, they're just out there. They're just asleep in the hammocks, bro, under the stages. You know that. They're, they're asleep under the hammocks. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so next time, next time you like, you, if you ever get a chance to go on one of these, like, to show like that, and you get to see what's under the stage, you'll see hammocks, bro. Yeah, like all the production people, like they just they end up staying there. They just sleep there while you yeah. fucking are up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they put the earplugs in. I've seen people. Say, they have cool little setups, bro. They have little two little monitors. Like, just what chilling, the fuck? Bro. Well, I, well, that does make sense if it's like a three day event. Exactly. So you know they're gonna and then they're gonna tear down like four a.m. You know, they wake up once everyone leaves, and they start working, yeah. What the fuck? That's a it's trip. Cool, huh? It's like a whole different world. It is, definitely. And, 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 and I've always wondered, like, did you get helicoptering into these EDC? No Are, Oh, you're scared of heights. I'm scared of heights, So you're going to have to deal with traffic. <clears throat> I'm, I'm okay with traffic, bro. I'm okay with traffic. You're, you closed. So what the fuck was your... <laughs> what time did you leave? At 6 p.m.? What time did you get there? Well, well no, we, 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 would, we left really early... Uh, a few years uh, in a row because, uh, and then we we, 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 were, we were with traffic, you know. This time we left really early, but I, I guess they, did they change the time? I thought they were open like at two, but no, they didn't open till like four. So we left oh, so super, you get there before. We got there super hours early, bro. We got there super early and like, it was just like, yeah, it was like, it was like empty. And like, it was cool though. Cause, um, you know, I was like, oh, let's go check out the, let's go check out the festival, you know, like empty. Um, so yeah, we got to go check it out, but yeah, no, I won't do the helicopter rides, man. That's scary. I'm always just scared of it. I don't know it, why I'm scared, bro. Uh, this last EDC was my first EDC, and I'm like, why the fuck is there a fucking helicopter going back and forth? And the homie was like, that's how they bring in the DJs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, the fucking, I'm like, and then right now they're telling me that I'm like, oh, I'm like, this fuck has to be scared, but obviously you went a whole fucking day no, early. Yeah, we, no, no, we, yeah, we drove there. Damn, you that's do, crazy. I didn't know option. that. You do get the option, yeah. Yeah, it's like, a, and then also they have, they offer like the service too. Like you can like pay, I don't know, how much is it a person? It's, it's pretty pricey, bro. For for the fly? Yeah, Eden, how much is it for like, you, you knew the price, right? For the helicopter? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, I'm driving too. Fuck, I'm saving all my money. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving too. Shame yeah, on you, EDC, motherfuckers. Do it for free. I'm already performing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Delta, me and you cannot go. I'll see <laughs> I, you there, buddy. You see, that's why I drive, bro. It's looking out for everyone's safety. <laughs> There's weight limits. <laughs> Delta's for the people and also for his fucking I, I'm looking life. looking out for everybody. Don't worry. Damn, that's a trip. I didn't know. There's so many rules. Yeah, I know. But, uh, you know, um, you know, one thing about, about, about all of our transport and everything, we try to stay really humble about everything. You know, also, we don't like to be, we don't like to be like uh, uh, fucking like, uh, damn, we got to take care of this food, you know? You know, I like to, I don't like to be a, a inconvenience, bro. I like to just pull up, and be like, "Oh, cool, I'm I'm here." You know, I'm just letting you know, I'm gonna stay out of your way. Yeah, but you also brought a group out to your performance. Oh yeah, there's La Buena Armada. That's and right. that, I'm pretty sure that was a convenience. That was. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish I could show you guys the message what he told me. Uh, no, no, I remember, I remember that they, they, they were they were saying um, when when when. Um, so I saw, I got the text saying, oh, is it possible? And I was like, oh, hell yeah. You know, they were like, cool, they need 40 tickets. Shame on you, bitch. Come on. Oh, so you like, for the oh. band and your mom. Motherfucker, yeah. come on. Let's get it. No, nah, but, uh, but I see, I mean, like, like I, I get it. You know, like, that's how they roll. You know, like, the the, the, uh, the grupos and all those, uh, the bandas and, and, and how they roll and shit, you know? And, like, um, and like I was just like, oh, my God, like. I was willing to fuck. I was like, I'll pay for tickets. I was like, well, l l let's hit up Insomniac. They're like, yo, these guys are, you know, let's look, go look at your Spotify. You know, like, these aren't, like, these are, these are the real deal. And this, this artist is the real deal. And, um, and yeah, I was, I was, I remember I was telling my tour manager and everything. I was like, yo, we gotta make this happen, bro. I was just like, I'll tell everyone to stay home. Everyone, all my guests, we get, they, they can stay home. You know, like, well, let's use up all those, all those tickets. But, uh, but yeah, man, I think, um, 
I mean, it worked out, bro. I mean, the Insomniac was super cool about it. And then so you got him 40 tickets? They were excited. No, I don't think we did the 40. I think 40 was the max. 15? 15 is cool because there's four of them. And then I know they're always with their mom and their dad. I think, they, yeah, they, 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 yeah, they definitely they, need a girl. Start bringing your mom and your dad everywhere. <laughs> no, that's their manager. I'm joking. God, Cali, damn. <laughs> Yeah, no, but um, you know what? You know what sucks is um, so so they were flying in from North Carolina or something like that, like some some East Coast. Yeah. And um, so they flew in. They landed like at nine p.m. My set was like at eleven. They did a whole chopper thing. They had everything already booked. They're like, we got the private jet. We're gonna be there. And I was like, damn, that's crazy, bro. I was just like, I just really hope we make it, you know, because like they were gonna cut it close, and they arrived while I was already playing. The cool thing is that the the where, where all that shit is, it's like right there. That that was a stage. The circuit grounds is right yeah. there. Yeah. So you know they jumped on stage and then that's when he didn't, when he's like, "Yo, bro, it's Lawon is here." I was like, "Shut the fuck up!" They actually came through. I was like, "Damn, that's crazy, bro." And um, but yeah, bro. And then you know I I didn't really get to talk to them, bro. Like I didn't get to talk to them and. Um, you know, I was like, damn, I probably should have saved the song for the very, very end so we could walk off stage together. Oh. You know? I but like, I get it. It would just spare the moment, huh? Yeah. The thing is, the thing is, a lot of the, a lot of the stuff is, you know, for, for, for pyro uh, reasons and, like, production stuff, we kind of pre-plan the set, right? Like, I mean, I still mix everything, but, like, I don't really, I don't really, like, I have to say, oh, this is when the Ea Bala Sola moment is going to happen right yeah. here in between these two songs, you know? And um, I don't really like to shift things around because then that kind of throws everything off with, like, with the visuals and pyros and everything. But, uh, but yeah, man, I was thinking about it. I was like, damn. But it was, it was an incredible moment, bro. That whole that whole situation is actually insane. It's all thanks to to, to El Compa Ray, bro. Um, it, it's crazy how uh, me, me and him go go way back. Way back, yeah. And um, you know he he texted me one he texted me one morning, bro. It was like ten a.m. He's like, hey, bro. Um, so they they're, they're looking to find someone someone to remix Ella Bala Sola. <clears throat> and like you know they were thinking they you know they were looking around and then he vouched for me. He was just like, oh, you should have the Oro. And then the Eddie, the the guy from the from Dell Records, from Dell Records, yeah. <laughs> he was saying like he said, "Oh, well, you think you could pull it off?" You know, and Ray was just like, "Hell yeah, bro, he's Mexican, you know, he'll pull it off." So um, Ray Ray hit me. He was like, "Yo, bro, like you think you could do it?" I was like, "Manda malas, bro. Mama, send me the stems, bro. Send me the stems, bro." I fucking next morning at nine a.m. I turned it in. I was just like, "Hell no, let me see, guys, bro." I was just like, "I'm gonna fucking." And the thing about the thing about mixing. Remixing corri- uh, cor- like that kind of style, yeah, that sound with EDM. Um, I wanted to make sure I did it right. You Paid know? homage, yeah, bro. And 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 I wanted I wanted it to be a perfect blend between a sonido and an EDM. You know, because when you think of EDM, you think punchy, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, but I really thought, you know, that, that's like, nah, there's got to be a way to fucking blend everything together. And the thing about corridos is that music is in is, is in uh, is in three four. Six eighths. It's a type of rhythm, yeah. and a lot of EDM isn't really. There is EDM that's in three four, but it's not really as common as four four, and uh, that's like. I know this sounds boring, but no, I'm no, like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm interested because I get what you're saying when you're saying that it it's hard. Be, it also like you want to make sure that if you're the reason the barriers are being broken, you want to make sure it's correct. Yeah, I want to do it right, Because it's never been bro. done before. I Everybody's do done right. the... You know, yeah, because I, 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 I love... I, my thing is I'm big on culture, right? I'm big on culture. I like, see it. Like, if, I, if, I, if I'm, if I'm going to integrate uh, any, any, like, say, Indian music or, or any, any, like, I'm always, I'm always treated with respect, you know? I don't want to, like, fuck around with it and take the sounds do what the fuck I want with it. Yeah. No, like, I want to make sure I keep the, the, the essence of it, you know? And um, with the with the Bala Sola, when they sent me the stems, I was like, fuck, man. I was like, damn, like... The song's already fucking insane as it is, you know, and I had to, you know, I had to basically decide on what to take out, you know, and I was like, fuck, man, I'm gonna have to take out the Toro Loche, bro, and that's actually one of the biggest, that's that's a key sound in that in that style, you yeah. know, and, uh, but I, you know, I, I, that's what I put in the, like, the EDM uh, sound. Mix into it. Yeah, and with the drums, <clears throat> but I kind of kept the whole flow of the whole song, because, I mean... That song was already. That's the thing. Like everyone says, like that's a great remix. It's like, what's well, a great song? You know? Yeah, it's a great. It's, fuck. I mean, went global how many times? I don't fucking know, bro. That's that's fuck. that's and it's it's fucking insane. Like what that song did. It opened a lot of doors, and um, you know, and not only just, not only just on the on the on the 
on the genre side of things, but also like me in the studio, like now, uh, like right after this, I'm, I'm going over to, to Yellow Room. Yeah, you know, shout uh, out Yellow Room in, in downtown LA. Yeah, I'm going over there. I got I, I convinced the compa uh, Edgar uh, from Voces del Rancho. Yeah, I uh, convinced him to re-record one of his old hits, bro. Uh, I'm gonna remix it. I don't know. That's if I sick. Say it. I don't know if I should say. I, I fuck it. I'll say. Well, it. text me back. <laughs> text me if you have to bleep this. I'll bleep it for you. You know I got nah, you. Nah, well, fuck it. It's gonna happen. Yeah, hell, yeah. Okay, well, make it happen. Shit, thank yeah. you. So what I, song are you remixing? So, so he told me. You know, he, he told me. He was telling me a story about how, like, you know, like, you know, back in the day, they they covered a bunch of songs and they come out on pelado. You know, camarón, no, 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 no. I was just like, shut the fuck up, bro. I was just like, bro, let me remix that. How'd you convince him? You were just you just asked him, or was it a well, little? Well, did it take so a little time? I think it was in the heat of the moment too. We were all, I was I was telling him what I was, like what I was trying to do with music, what I was doing at the moment, what I did with Tucanes Tijuana. You know, so I was telling him, I was like I'm actually like really trying to blend the music. I'm not like out here trying to remix or or or, or make edits of stuff. I'm actually trying to compose like originals and stuff like that. The mixture you know? of it. Yeah, and um, you know, I was telling him, I was like like for me, the more the more original I can be, the better. And, uh, but yeah, so I told him, I was like, yo, like, uh, what do you think of me remixing Come On Pelado, you know? I was like, it's a perfect tempo. It's upbeat, bro. It's like, it'll, it's, it's perfect. And, and, and before you ask them, in your head where you're like, okay, if I ask this question and he says yes, this is going to be one for the, because you got to think about this, something I fucking cried to when my mom made me clean out in the morning, on a Saturday morning, on a Sunday uh -huh. morning. So I'm on one day, like, even like, and, and I get this a lot when I meet, like, people that I look up to, and I'll ask them a question. I'm like, oh, fuck, hopefully I didn't fuck up our oh, shit. Oh, bro. So, so, yeah, so my thing is, um, you know, I, this, was, this was after I kind of already saw that he was, he, you know, he was vibing with a lot of the stuff that I was doing. You know, like, because in that world, you know, like, esos señores, you know, like, like I don't want to disrespect him, you know? Yeah, 100%. No, I don't, don't no. want to, like, walk in and say, hey, let me remix shit. You know, like I'm popping. Let me do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah. so, pero, pero, I saw that he was he was vibing with a lot of the EDM shit, and I, that's when I kind of came to him with the idea. <laughs> and I was like, "Hey, bro, what do you think of me remixing it?" And Did he, he hesitate? Just, he was just like, "Oh shit, that sounds like a great idea." <laughs> and I, and I told him, I was just like, "Bro, like, send me, send me, like, if you have the stem, send them." You know, he's like, "Damn, we're gonna have to re-record those because this is an old song." So yeah, that's what we got planned right after this, bro. That's that's beautiful because <laughs> I could imagine myself really drunk off some like four logos, right? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm trying to imagine myself. Like I don't know if I'm taking a girl with me or not taking a girl with me, and it just it got on. Don't do do do. That's the song that makes you get up. It makes you, know? you get up. And that, so so my thing is what you know what <clears throat> the kind of DJ I am is. I like to I like to prender la fiesta. Like, yeah, like, I, like, I like to like people get up and we, that's why there's a lot of energy in my sets, and. um I got that from like you know like my my dad he he was you know he was DJing the house parties, and uh, you know there was key songs that like would make people get up, you know and come on but like that style that that those rhythms, um those were that, that's a no brainer you know. That what about like going. a cumbia? You ever thought about like a? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so so right now I actually um I just had I just I just made this song with this, these, these compas from Chicago. Those delinquentes. Um, it's just, I actually have I've had that song for like a couple of years now, but uh, we're final, finalizing it now. And um, I think uh, the homie the homie Santa Fe clan is down to fucking do some shit on top of it. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. But okay. Well, well text me like I said text. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, but it's cool. I mean, I, his management is like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's okay. You no, can but it's exciting. Me, it's exciting. To make, but I'm just exciting. no, I'm gonna keep him for these. It's exciting to talk about. <laughs> it's exciting to talk about. But anyway. but 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 and and this is where like, I was I I had Valentino Khan up here and I was talking to him about how my first uh, Beyond Escape I, I was seeing you guys DJ, mm. and I was sitting there like. Valentino Khan caught my eye because of the West Coast shit, right? He, he, mm. he goes deep in the West Coast music. Yeah. When I went to go see DJ, and to keep in mind, this whole world is new to me. I'm just, I like to party. I like to have yeah, fun. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I, yeah. I love just getting drunk with my best friends and having a good time. Going out, yeah. And the homie, shout out my homie Double P because he's like, we're on our way to these events. We're driving from LA to San Bernardino. We're driving from LA to EDC, and he's like, Oh look, he does this. Oh here, check out this. Say like he's just been he's been eating like he's giving me the whole nice, breakdown. Nice, nice. And I'm like, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. And he's like, there's this guy named De Oro. And this is before I went to any event. 
I've mm. never been. I saw Gordo, I think, at oh. Persian Square. Shout out Gordo. And I'm sitting, shout out Gordo. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, and I'm like, does he fucking, did he just play Sonora Dinamita? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, Damn. and I'm like, nah, you're trip. And, 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 and this is, what you do is technically, a, it's considered a white sport. It's like, oh, it's for yeah, white people. It's, yeah, and very European. Very influence. European. Yeah, yeah. So I'm listening, right? And I'm like, wait, and I, and I, and I, and I like, and I'm like, did he just play a beeper? And yeah, I keep yeah, standing, yeah. you know when you're sitting somewhere and you hear some shit and you're like, and you like fix yourself to think maybe you're tripping? You're like, oh, shit. And I'm driving <laughs> to San Bernardino, I'm chugging like a Casa Amigos mixed with a Four loco, <laughs> And I'm just fucking <laughs> listening <laughs> to you. <laughs> And I'm and 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 I just know your name at this point. Mm -hmm. So and I'm like Dioro. Uh -huh. Dioro. And he and he and he's drunk too. So we're just driving and he's like De Oro. And I'm like, oh yeah, Dioro, he's hard. <laughs> and then I don't know, we get to a gas station, he's like, oh, and then the other homie's like, oh, I'll drive. And then the set's still going on, and I look and I'm like, He's Mexican. <laughs> and he's like, De Oro, stupid. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> So you know me, I'm like I go on my IG and I I'm, I'm you know I, I come from this world. Yeah. I start pressing shit and I'm like, I'm like, oh he's real, he's Mexican. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, yeah, fool. And I'm like, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I, no, I was like, no wonder you play fucking solo than in El beeper and all this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh my god. And and instantly I became a fan. And That's I was cool, like, bro. cause Thank I'm you. big on my culture. I, I'm, I I'm, that. I'm, I'm I'm in a I have a podcast where I'm the only Mexican in this. Three of my black brothers. I've, I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a game where it's because oh, they're, they're the ones you show Peso Puma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm yeah, right? that yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good video. And yeah, and, yeah. and and thank you. And they're like, and I'm like, what the fuck? He's Mexican. Mm -hmm. And they're like, that's not even his best thing. They just start showing me different <laughs> shit. And I'm, and then the Wargamis when you played them El Caballo Dorado, oh, I yeah. was like, oh, this was legendary. <laughs> and then we did the brown bag shit. You came on Brownback. Thank you for doing that. You came on our podcast. Nice. And fucking my cousins from Mexico hit me like, hey, wait, I said, wait, stop a perron in EDC. Chingon, in Mexico. Chingon. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I just, but yeah, man, it's, Thank it's, you, it's Thank crazy. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for all that, man. That was, that was great. I was just, yeah. Like, and I'm like, bro. he's Mexican. Thank you, bro. You know what? Um, yeah, I, 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 you know, it's been it's from, from where, when I started, you know, like, uh, I was very, like I said, it was very European influenced, yeah. and um, a lot of the sounds have 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 you know developed over the years. Whereas you know started to just bring in my culture and started to kind of like embrace where I came from, and that's probably one of the best things I've ever done. Yeah, um, when when I kind of just like started imp like implementing like my 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 roots uh. to what I do, and there's so much there's so much that I come from. You know, like the the the, the Latino heritage, the Mexican you know upbringings, and like that's something that like. I think um, you know it's it's a beautiful thing to offer, and um, for me to offer that to music, and to see people receive it like with open arms, it's like it's. it's, it's I mean, come on, man! Like, I don't even. I I come like I don't even deserve this. This is beautiful. No, you definitely yeah. deserve it because. <laughs> but it's like, but it's like, but it's like the ganas, bro. You know, like whenever yeah. when like well, with the Tucanes track, bro, like that that track took me four years. It took me four years to make. You know, it was it was the inicio, bro. It was about it was about starting a relationship with them, yeah. Getting them to trust me, a los señores, letting them know that I'm not just some kid out here that fucking punches punches want to remix fucking La Chona or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because it's like, what what is a DJ gonna go and ask from these little señores? You know, like yeah. So 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 for me to sit down with them and then to build a relationship and to, to gain their trust. And and to and to showing them, bro, that like I'm going to apply myself to your sound. I'm going to learn your sound. I'm going to to be a part of your world. So that when you come to mine, like you guys don't lose your touch. You guys don't you guys aren't in foreign territory. Yeah, and and when you're in the process of that, right? I'm imagining like some old ass four fools that probably like wake up at six AM and like feed their like chickens, you know? Like <laughs> And here comes Deodo with his beard. <laughs> and he just finished getting off stage with Jester. I'm fucking dying. And I'm like, what'd you tell them for? Like, hey, hola, eso es la canción. <laughs> and then they and then you oh and God, then and then they're they're like confused, right? And mm. 
That food are sitting there, you know, they perform to donas. <laughs> and here is this food yep. performing to half naked people. And it's like, yeah, it's a great song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dale, mijo, está bien. Like, did they send you out for the Domingo? <laughs> like, this is like, I'm amazed how the fuck you do this uh, shit. You know what? Shout, shout out to uh, Compa Cesar. Shout out to Compa Ray, too. That, like, they, they all helped me make that possible. Uh, Cesar, um, he's like, he, he, he pretty much, like, uh, he's our connect. Yeah, with, with, with Tucanes, you know, yeah. and Ray Ray introduced me to him, and Cesar does like the I think the marketing, and um, and he was like trying to convince uh, Mario Mario, yeah. uh, that like yo this 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 is the move you know the collaborating with Dioro and initially they, they wanted me to remix La Chona. Which I was like, that's a fucking great opportunity. You're like, but I don't want to fuck I'm, it up. Uh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, so my thing was, I was like, I'm down to remix La Chona. Um, it's a fucking great song as it is. I kind of don't, I don't want to touch it. You don't want to be know? the guy to fuck up the song. And, and you know, say, same, same. If you were come up to me and say you want to remix Suavemente, no. How about let's make something new? You know, let's make something. It'll be like Suavemente's baby, La Chona's baby. You know, like yeah. So, so those two situations happen to, like where where I'm, I'm paying respects to where where the idea comes from. You know, bailar came from suavemente. Yeah. You know, where like I don't I don't want to touch suavemente, but this is an honor of suavemente. Elvis was down to be a part of it, and he fucking boom. You know, yeah. we, suavemente had a baby. Bailar came about. Yeah. And same with uh, yo las pongo. Yeah. You know, I asked Tucanes, and I told him I was just like, look, like I know this is gonna sound crazy, but we're gonna collaborate. You know, this is the opportunity. I can remix Tachona, We can give it more life, or we can give birth to a new baby. Yeah, cause I, w- I would have been mad if you would have remixed Lachona. <laughs> I did though. You know what? So 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 I did. I did remix Lachona, and uh, you know we had that idea. But I, the whole time I was focused on on collaborating on an original. Yeah. You know, and I tried like to, how do how do I get them to understand that like we can make something new? It's like you're telling these guys that probably they don't need to go back to the studio for what. They already made all the hits. They can tour those songs for the rest of their life. They don't. They don't need to go back and make oh, nothing new. Oh no, they're good. They don't need to make nothing new, you know. But that's what I was asking them. I was asking them to get back in the studio, you yeah, know. We're like, who the <laughs> fuck are you? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> pero, pero para convencerles a los señores, like, they're like, nah, like, they're, they're, there's, let's not just stop there. Let's not just, don't just stop at la chona, you know. Like, keep the sound going. You know? Yeah, and, and and are you bringing your dad to these sessions so you can make him feel comfortable? Like, no, it's because thanks thanks to my dad, he's you know like he he's the one that taught me all that stuff. Listening to the, the music that we would play at the parties, you know. Facts. And it's like, like it's funny because like now I'm talking to these people. I'm like I'm like dad, you know, this is a lunch. He's like hell yeah, yeah you know. I was just like oh yeah, I'm getting. They don't care about you doing worldwide <laughs> tours. You're telling me you're on you're you're, you're in the studio with the food that made like Jonah. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> hell yeah, bro. I feel like yeah, but that's, that's crazy. Like, yeah, so it's 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 it's. It's a beautiful thing to see that like a lot of this stuff is like we can still keep these sounds alive you know like that it doesn't just have to stop at, at, the, at the classic you know la chona that was released years ago that like, now we can keep let's, let, let's bring out the next la chona well i'm not comparing my song to la chona but i'm just saying like it's i influenced. get what you're saying where where you respect their crap but you don't want to be it's kind of like and and I and, and I think it goes both ways where you don't wanna be known just for the guy that remixed La Chona. Mm. You wanna be known for the guy that did a song with the people that made La Chona, but now we have this song that's like, in this like world. Keep, keep that sound going. Yes, you like, know, like let's we're keep moving that song forward, going. but now exactly. it's an EDM beat. That's what I and that's that I think I think that's been my goal with, with, with a lot of this music, you know, and um, you know, where like where like Ea Bala Sola remix, like that's something that I couldn't I couldn't I needed help from that side because it's it's it's, it's a whole different genre it's a whole different rhythm yeah and um to, to kind of show that Leia Balasola has helped me show a lot of these people that I'm collaborating with now uh, how EDM and Corridos can sound together and I get you know that just saying that out loud sounds like a like a turn off like EDM and Corridos doesn't really but but there is a way to do it there's a way to do it, and um, and uh, I actually got a couple of ideas already that I'm working on, and that I've I, like it, it's so it's so exciting, bro, because it's like for the first time, you know, like when we're hearing these sounds, and um, <clears throat> and it's it's crazy to 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 hear the reactions, right? Me mando me mando Eric Bagazo, he sent me uh, su compa NR, he sent me a song que tenía la guitarra y estaba cantando, 
And um, I was like, cool, send me the stems. And I fuck, I flipped it, bro. And then the voice message that, that Begazo sent me from El Compa de Nere that estaba cantando yeah. was just like, what the fuck? Like, holy shit. You know, pero, pero... The the his flow was still there. His his sound. If any, I I we added um charchetas tuba. We added more to it. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so it's like que no pierda la esencia the the que sea sonido corrido. You know, and um that that's one of the keys. You know, that's one of the goals. I don't want to like fuck. Trust me. Like I, I I respect the genre, but I think we can uh, uh you know possibly open, open new doors. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Let's, let's fuck around and find out. Yeah. Cause even um. <laughs> Because Jester's white, right? Yeah, he's an honorary Latino, though. Yeah, he's an honorary Latino. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. tell you why. He's invited to Canasada, for sure. Yeah, he's definitely invited to Canasada. <laughs> I seen him. I seen him. By the way, your guys' shit uh, in, in the, at the club was fire. Are you guys going back to back and oh, all that shit? Oh, that was badass. Yes, it was. Was that unexpected? Well, it was, yeah. It was like they, they were just like, we're going to pull up. I was like, do it then. <laughs> <laughs> They pulled up, bro. It was dope, man. The it homie was, was excited. Dope, I didn't know who GTA was. He put me on that day. GTA, oh yeah, GTA. Fuck yeah, bro. Those are my they were, boys. You guys, the back to backs were sick. There was, I damn. was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, damn, there's a there's a festival set. No, yeah, yeah, GTA. Yeah, yeah. Those, those are my boy. Four B. Fuck yeah, yeah. That shit was it was fun, bro. That and, shit was, and you know what's crazy? Um, the the so the guy that takes care of us, uh, he he told me that like uh, if you like if you stayed still. The whole fucking place was bouncing, bro. Yeah, it was good. I was just like, holy shit. Like, like literally the, the structure, the building was moving. He was like, I've never felt that before. I was like, oh shit. No, it was it was a party, bro. That shit was a party. Yeah. It was freaky in there. <laughs> I was like, oh. Shout out to 4B, Jester, and GTA. Yeah, that shit yeah. was sick. I was watching you guys oh, go my back. My boy Red Tape jumped on too. He, it, it, it was sick. The back and forth, all that. I was like, oh, this is sick. Yeah. And then the homie was like, bro, that's something you don't ever see. Yeah, like yeah. them just kicking it, like because you guys were just kicking it. Yeah, we're just chilling. Yeah, you guys cool. were having fun, cool. having it's having cool. a good. Yeah, it's it's perfect because like everyone's out there for EDC weekend too. It's like it's just like it's perfect. You know, the like, motherfuckers are like, all right, we're trying to party though. You know, we're out here for EDC. Yeah, so this is perfect vibe for it. It, it. it was a vibe, but um, day two that day, that same day, I saw Jester do the peso pluma shit. Oh yeah, I sent it to him. Yeah, and he I fucking. I sent him the, the remix. He, the way he incorporated it, I was like, fool, you killed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so literally, like, so the day of, he was just like, bro, send me your Peso Pluma, Peso Pluma remix. I was like, fuck, he's gonna be able, he's gonna get he's gonna get to test it before I get to test it. I was like, oh, that's cool, whatever. This is compa, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I love, yeah. I love that motherfucker. I was like, okay, cool, fool. Let me know how it goes, you know? And then, yeah, like, I fucking, um, I saw that it, fucking people were tripping, you know? I was just like, fuck yeah. That made me more excited. Yeah, fool, we were like, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Jester, like, thank you. You got to premiere before I did. Yeah, no, <laughs> great remix, by the way, because it, it went, it, 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 it went thank amazing. You, thank you. Yeah, no, it went I, had amazing. To, I had to make it a moment, bro. I had to, like, when they sent me the stems, I remixed it, but then I also wanted to make, like, an EDC version, like, where yeah. I had, like, a whole intro where I got to tell people, like, you guys are, like, I got the opportunity to remix one of the biggest songs, you know, and... Um, Globally, you know, too. I mean, it's not yeah. like it was just Mexican region. Yeah. It was... And you know what? And and, and, and I really do hope, um, you know, I... I, I, I did my best with it, you know, and uh, you know the the sounds are beautiful. Las guitarras are insane, you know. Eslabon and 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 peso, they they, they fucking they killed did the it shit. on that song, bro. Like it's just the fucking the tuba, the trom like the trombone, sorry, uh, the trombone, uh, fucking it's just perfect song, man. I'm just like they kind of they gave me already the perfect recipe. I was just like, bro, I'm just gonna put a beat under this. Of course, it's gonna be amazing. Cause yeah, it's already facts. amazing, you know. Yeah, like, I'm gonna just be able to do what I do for it. Yeah, like I got like I I won't really take too much credit for it, you know, because it's like it's already a great song as it is. And when when you're having these conversations, how do you like to los tacanes de de Tijuana? How do you explain to them what you do? It's a hard. I just show them. And that's the thing. That's the thing. Like, I remember when we first met. I told him straight up, bro. I got nervous, bro. I got nervous. <laughs> I got super nervous. I'm in a whole bottle of wine before. Oh, shit. Yeah, bro. I was super That's nervous. Really, you saw like you were going on a first date. <laughs> no, I was nervous, bro. I was about to, you know, like, what am Need I going to tell legend. these guys? You know, but I told him, I was like, look, here's what I'm going to do. If you guys are open to the idea. I just wanted an answer that first that first the meeting. I was like, if you guys are open to the idea, I'm going to go home and I'm going to study your music. You know? And um, so, yeah. And, and it, it was about... Here's how I showed them what I, what are my intentions were. Right? Yeah. So they, I, was, I said yes to remixing La Chona. I grabbed the stems, and I reworked those, and I made an original song out of those sounds, yeah. out of their drums, out of their guitars, and then they heard that. 
they were like, and I told them, like, see, this is what I'm going for. This is what I'm aiming for. Uh, una canción así, original, que sea, que sea nueva, you know? Um, they would just have to re-record, you know, the everything, vocals. everything, the drums and everything to, to like, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, p- perform what, what I flipped, which was originally their sounds anyways, because it were the stems from La Trona, you know? And um, so, so it was kind of like, I had to, a lot of, I have to show I have to like make it, you know, yeah, to, yeah. To, to, to get people to understand because I can't put it into words. I don't know. Whatever I hear in my head, it can say makes sense to me. If I want people to hear it, I got to put it together, bro. You know? And 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 then pools are older fools. Like, they're, yeah, you know, they're and, like they, grandpas, they, they, dick. Like, they, they, they don't, they don't, to me, to me, they're, they're from a different time, you know, like, and, 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 and I think, um, but, but it's not, it's, um, you know, the fact that bro, Mario, Mario Quintero, like he, the fact that he's open to collaborating, like with, with not just like, not just an artist from 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 these times, but from a different genre. Yeah, you know, like it's like you know, and the fact that 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 he gave me the opportunity, like that says a lot, bro. That says a lot, you know, like how how someone like him, bro. I remember the second studio session we had. He was just like, let me take let me take you up to my office, you know. And I know I know why he took me up there, bro. He went up, bro, and there's a whole wall of BMI records, bro. Awards, I was just like, "Fuck, okay." Like, yeah, what a way to shit yeah. on me, huh? No, he, no, no, no. I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. I don't think he did that on purpose. I was just like, "Holy!" For me, it was just like, "Okay, Eric, this, this is who you're fucking with," you know? Like, yeah, yeah. I think this is like, I, I better like, bro. That's why let let check my guys, bro. I was just like, "Fuck that!" Like, I'm gonna do this shit right, bro. I'm fucking like, I have the opportunity of a lifetime right now, you know. Mario has all these fucking, bro. He's he's written so many hits. He's a great composer, and um. You know, for me to be in the presence of that and to, to have an opportunity to add, to possibly to add to that wall. You know, I was like, holy shit. You know, it's like it, you can either let it fucking scare you or fucking say, fuck that. I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do it for the culture, bro. I'm a, I, I believe in this shit. You know, and like I went home and, let, let, you know, I put in the time and the hours, bro. And like, I mean, I love what I do, bro. So it's like, no, no, it's not and, work. And, and it's respectable because it's needed. And I think I was talking to La Platica. And shout I love out to those boys. Yeah, I yeah. Love so those boys. He just he just hooked me up with some, with some salute packets. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, 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 those shit work. Fire, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Dude? I like the, I like it when I go to the gym. Like, they even have the common sleep one. My oh, mom be drinking that shit. Oh shit. No, I haven't tried that one. I've tried yeah, the hydration and the and the energy one. And the, the energy, energy ones the, are like fucking si te prenden, bro. Yeah, like, fool. The energy ones. <laughs> it feels like you take a C4. It was a vibe, but it feels good. It's natural. <laughs> it's good, yeah. And the fucking orchata one fucking hits, bro. Yeah, that's that good. The the common sleep one, my mom's been drinking it. She then she fucks with it. Nice. So you know, so shout out Josh for the for the salute one. That yes. shit's amazing. Crushing yeah. It, yeah. Um, I was gonna tell you, so, yeah, when you, you you're hit up La Platica? Um, what happened? You said you hit up La Platica? No, no. I was here with La Platica. I had him on here. Oh, yeah. Had a dope conversation, and I was like, we did a three-hour podcast for three hours and 45 minutes. Those, I, they're so great at con- conversation. Fool, they're fucking dope. They're shit, yeah. fool. They're fun. They're yeah. funny. Yeah. They're super funny. I'm sitting there having a conversation with them, and I'm like, when we all, when one of us wins, we all win. Yeah. And we talked about you, and I was like, fool, like, like. Obviously, we could talk about Mexicans and hip hop, right? And Mexicans and all these genres. And in indie, we have Kuko and we have Eddie Zuko, which okay. you work Oh, you just named two legends right now. Yeah, and 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 I just Facetimed Kuko for the first uh, the other day. Kuko's a great yeah, fucking guy. He's, a, he's a, he was in the studio with uh, Conexión Divina, and uh, uh, my homie Eric Gazo manages them. And he's like, you want to see what's up to Kuko? I was like, damn, bro. I was like, hell yeah. I damn, do. bro. If you remix, um, for lo que siento. I want to collaborate with him, bro. Oh, yeah, cutting yeah. uh, solo. Yeah. Tum, tum, tum. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how. Whatever you do, go do it, my boy. Uh, it's yeah, a great yeah. fucking Speak song. Fan. Yeah, sorry, You bro. would do it. No, no, no. no that, that would be amazing. Yeah, I'm bro. a huge, like, and we're talking about that, and I'm like, and we're already a little drunk, and I'm like, fool, like, I'm like, what the auto's doing for our culture, bro? It's fucking fire, dog. Like, <laughs> you get to sit there, and, 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 and like I said, I'm not saying it, but it's a very European thing to do. Mm-hmm. And when we have you here, and you could relate to us. You come from our same background. You do the same thing we do. You listen. You grew up to the same music, and you're up on these stages performing to seventy thousand. Yeah. I don't know how many people are exactly are there, but I'm just. And you're doing that. I'm like, fool. That's just sick. You know. Dog. You know. It's it's um, it's crazy because when you know. A lot of people go expect you know go to these shows and they expect to hear you know these kind of sounds and like you know I've gotten some comments people saying like oh you know like you know we want to hear like some like 
to techno and shit like that. And like, and I and I respect that. You know, I don't I don't want to impose when people come into EDM festival and I'm fucking throwing corridos. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, but that's why I kind of want. That's why I understand it's my responsibility to to try to blend those two sounds together. To where you're not. Yeah. But also, I'm it's, not sabotaging. It's, yeah, like, yeah. But but it's also like it's also playing. I'm paying homage to to to, to the culture out there. You know, and um, it's cool because over the years, I mean. Back then, it wasn't as 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 heavy, like heavily. There was there was no Latinos in the crowd. Not there wasn't yeah, that, no, no. that common, and it's just growing more and more and more. And um, you know, to be able to 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 play sound, sounds like you know, like like La Cadenita or or or, or Que le pasa Lopita, you know, like shit like that, and like that's just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah. hilarious in a good way where it's like, are, are you turn around and you see an Asian person don't even know what they're doing? You know, and they're it's just, it's so it's so cool that it, yeah. It, it, Cause yes, our music is fun, bro. It's fun. It, 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 it's not about it's not about race. It's at the end. It's not even. It's just no, no, no. Listen, of course listen, not. But just listen, just listen, bro. You know what I'm saying? And fucking get down to it. You know, like I, I feel like our culture has a lot to offer music, and it's it comes from great, a lot of beautiful messages and like great vibes, bro. You listen to some of these cumbias, and it's just like, this is what I'm talking about. You no, know, no, and, and and you're right. It's not about race, but it's definitely about culture because I'm yeah. pretty sure when these UK, these European DJs come out here mm -hmm. and we know every single fucking song in their beat <laughs> when it's going to drop mm -hmm. and they see a bunch of fucking Nopal faces, <laughs> they're probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah, bloody hell yeah. mate I didn't know <laughs> you know what I'm saying so it's you're right you're right it's not about race but it's definitely yeah, a culture yeah. shock it's, where it's, because when, when you go to Asia how do they react to this shit you know what I love I love bro I love Asia because I, I honestly I'm always convinced it doesn't matter what you play out there they're really out there to have a good time bro. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <They're just> <laughs> <laughs> that's how Mexicans are <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so I mean that's I was yeah when I was playing like like I got footage of me playing cumbia in South Korea you know and um, it's like bro because it's, it's I think it's because they're there to have a great time bro you know were they going crazy to like yeah bro, yeah for sure bro yeah yeah it's it, 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 it's a beautiful thing to hear you know that el sonido mexicano come out of these speakers in, in a different country. You know, yeah. and like and see, and see people dancing. It's just moviéndose a los sonidos mexicanos or sonidos latinos, bro. That's just such a beautiful thing, bro. Your biggest culture shock ever. Your culture when you went out the country. Oh man, I think um, man, I think Norway was a trip, bro. Norway was crazy. It was fucking cold as fuck out there. Um. You know what? When they, I guess, when they graduate, they all, they like all the kids, like they all save up money. I don't know what out. They all get buses and like vans and shit, and they fucking turn them into party buses, and they all go out into a forest, and like they all have the, they put together this festival, and like they're there for like a week, I think, and like what the bro, fuck? Sometimes the fucking northern lights come out, and like it's fucking, it's it's it's, it's a crazy festival and i'm just like wow this is this is our culture like, this and then you go normal. dj this is yeah, yeah i got invited to dj and there was um the there was a group of guys i don't know if they're like maybe like fraternity i don't know what it is how, how they do it out there but they all they did a five more hours bus so my song five more hours they like themed it out and everything like five more hours bro so it's like it's crazy man and it's like yeah that's our culture that's what we do and they had like they 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 asked me to you know after I'm done to go into the to, to the crowd. There's a little donut uh, truck, so like, you need to try our donuts. And um, I went. I tried a Norwegian donut, bro. It's simple. Like I tried it, bro, and I was like, holy shit, bro. Do they have the best donuts you know, of all time? Yeah, it's it's, 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 I can't even explain it, bro. You gotta go try it yourself. You know, that's a fucking trip. What the? But fuck? yeah, bro. But to me, it's just like. So I love embracing cultures. Like, yeah. fuck me up, bro. Fuck me up. I'll, yeah. I'm going to be Norwegian for the day. You know, like <laughs> yeah. fucking like when I'm in Italy, you know, when I'm in France, when I'm anywhere in the world, bro. Like, I want to try it. Bring me your local beer. What the fuck did you grow up eating? You know, like I'm here. I, I, I'm all about culture. bro. I love it. That's a, and, and the Norway shit, were you in a forest? It was yeah, I was in the middle of nowhere, bro. It was like fucking cold as fuck. You were DJing in the forest? Yeah, it was beautiful. It was beautiful, yeah. And it's packed, sold out. Yeah, well, well, it's like it's like it, that's the thing. It's not really like a sell. It's, it's like all the grad people, the class graduating, they all just meet up, you know, and they all just fucking party. 
And that and that's the thing. Like I was saying, like is this like it's, it's like oh yeah, this is this is what, this is normal for us. Like it's like when you're graduating, this is what we all look forward to. <laughs> Let's book the auto for our graduation. Damn, <laughs> that's different yeah, type yeah, of money yeah. over had, there. Now they had they had, they had like, me, Steve, Steve Aoki. But it's beautiful to see shit like that, man. How do they react to um, the cumbia and Caballo Dorado? You know, oh, well, that's the thing. I, I do, I do like Caballo Dorados, and you know, I gotta make sure, every, like, I'm with my people that know what to do when Caballo Dorado comes yeah. on. You know, imagine the region just doing some <laughs> shit like this. <laughs> <and Caballo Dorado. laughs> you know, um, yeah, like I, 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 I still play some Latin shit out there. You yeah, know? But yeah, it's yeah. Like it, they still. That's the thing. The Latin, Latin sound is very global now, and it's very. Um, you know, it's a, it's a party. So, I want to show you some shit and and let me know what you think about this. I was I sent it to my homie and I was like, dude, would you be able to DJ in this? And look at this shit. And I we'll put it up on the screen. It's in a train. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. See, I, I, that's cool. I saw one in an airplane, bro. I'll send it to you. You saw one in an airplane? Fuck that. <laughs> Everybody sit the fuck down on their people. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's cool. That's crazy though, bro. But okay, so I, I showed this to my homie, right? And I'm like, okay, a train rave. In my head, I'm thinking, right? And I'm like, dog, if I'm drunk and I want to throw up, where am I supposed to throw the fuck up <laughs> if the bathroom's probably used? That's somebody dancing in there. Yeah. You think you'll be able to DJ in there? Yeah, man. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> we're we're paisa for walking claustrophobic. Like, I see, like, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I am. I mean, there's some people that just want to party, bro. You know, like yes, you could take the party anywhere. You could put it in a train. You could put it in a plane, bro. You could like I've seen. You know, one of one of the one of the most memorable raves I've ever been to, and this is when like raves were illegal. Um, like I remember like, raves were illegal. Raves? They were illegal. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you had to. You had to. How like, long ago was this? There were no flyers. Yeah, you, you had to. It was word of mouth, and like we, they would give you an address. They text you an address, and you get picked up in a van, and you get taken to this like place, bro. And it's like one of, one of the one of the places that I, I remember the most is um, it was like we showed up and it was a fucking house, bro. But it was right next to the freeway. It was like the purple something. I don't know what it was, but one of the stages was a hallway. Literally, like this was just a house, bro. And then, and like DJ was in a closet, and like everyone just fucking raging, bro. Like in the hallway, and like you know, but that's the thing. Yeah, that's like, like I didn't let you go. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 to me, to me, like that's that's uh, yeah, man. That's, that's you can party anywhere. What you know? the fuck? But you wouldn't do the plane. Uh, on the plane, I think we should all stay seated. <laughs> <laughs> let's not fuck with the balance. You know, let's not fuck. <laughs> we could die here. <laughs> I could imagine you <laughs> fucking DJing a plane <laughs> and just get some turbulence. <laughs> fuck, you would freak out. Huh? You... <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, bro. You're thinking much me. Do you go to sleep on planes? I do, yeah. It's, it's funny because, like, it's, um, it's one thing we always talk about. It's crazy how, like, we could feel wide awake, bro. But as soon as we sit down... It just throws off. Bro. It's just like, I think it's the ambience. That, you know, our body knows, oh, shit. Time to fly, we knocked the fuck out. Have you done the, what's that big ass rave they do in the UK? Is it the Tomorrowland? Oh, yeah, uh, that's in uh, Belgium. Yeah, yeah. Have sure. you done it? Yeah, bro. Beautiful, man. It's, it's, it's insane. And 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 that one is cool because I remember, I always have the story. I remember when I first played it, uh, I was the only Mexican out there. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Like, <laughs> I'm like, combined. are you the only Mexican in the fucking country? No, 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 no. The, no. the thing about tomorrow is you get a bunch of cultures and stuff. But I'm talking about like the only DJ. Like I was only, uh, I was only like only, You're the only Mexican in the lineup. I was no, the only paisa out there backstage too. I was just like, damn, you know, like it's crazy how how I remember that, bro. I remember how like I kind of felt like I was, you know, the the what do they call it, the black sheep, you know, the, the yeah, you know, the one that stood out. But I tried to fit in, you know. Um, but they were. Bro, they were they were so welcoming. They're sweethearts, man. Like I, lo I love, you know, the whole culture out there. Everyone's like, so welcoming too. It's just like it's and a beautiful when you thing. DJ legendary festivals like that. How what's the like? Like what's the feeling like? It's a trip, bro. You know, like I always look when I walk up to those deck, the deck, decks of uh, the CDJs. I'm just like, damn, like. You know, like I touch them and just trip out. It's just like, fuck yeah. Oh, it's like, fucking real, huh? Yeah, this is it. Like, this is, this is it. You know? Um, That's sick, fool. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's a trip, bro. It's a beautiful thing. And, um, you know, there's there's different, there's different. you know, performing in, 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 in different countries, you know, you have different um, different vibes. But No, no, not even different vibes. I think it's just like, it's like home. 
Like I want, I I get so many different expectations, you know. But but at the end of the day, bro, it's just like music kind of it's like it's a like universal language. So it's yeah, like, so it's, it's like the energy is always the same, and that's that's the beautiful thing about it. How do you, how do you, how do you adapt to where you're there, right? Because I've like it's kind of like I I I've seen a lot of comedians whenever let's say they're in Cali, they'll make Cali jokes. Mm. When they're in Philly, they'll make Philly jokes that Philly uh -huh. people are going to understand. The, when they're in wherever the fuck in the world, if they're in the desert, they're going to make desert jokes. Uh -huh. So I've always thought about it. Like when you are in, like like fuck, when I went to New York, I bought myself some Timbs for the first time and wore a ski mask the whole day and bought myself a North Face jacket and I felt like a New Yorker. When you go to Belgium, yeah, there are a lot of different cultures come. You know, it's a big fucking huge festival. Yeah. Everybody flies in. Mm. But what's something you do when you're in South Korea or when you're in Belgium? Like, do you get something from a popping DJ there and you try to sh pay homage so and show yes. love? So, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. You always, you got to do your, 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 little your homework. Your homework, yeah, before you go. You know, if you, I mean, if you want the show to go even better, do your homework, Facts. bro. I mean, you could just pull up and be like, this is who I am. This is what I got. If you like it, fuck, cool. If not, fucking, this is what I got. Yeah. You know? But, um... Yeah, man. I mean, uh, uh, like when you know, whenever I go to like certain countries, you know, if I go to Colombia, if I go to like, if I go to Italy, like, it's like, what the fuck is the one song? I'm fucking, if I play, everyone's gonna fucking sing like it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know, if everyone's mom's gonna come out and sing it. You know, like, <laughs> you know, because um, it's the song that we all fucking they, you grew up to. So yeah, you, you know, you do the homework and then you try to see if if it's something that you're gonna play. Like like sometimes you you have this song like in Italy. There's like this 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 one really popular like like I think it's like a children's I don't know what it was, but um, where like I didn't need to remix it or anything just just play it by itself, you know and then boom it fucking went crazy you know and then there's other like I remember I was in Brazil, and um you know Brazil Brazilian music and they have really beautiful rhythms and, yeah. and I was like fuck yeah so fuck I, carnival music yeah exactly carnival yeah, exactly. yeah carnival so, yeah, yeah. so so I was able to kind of mix it a little bit better sick and like that so yeah you do your homework just to to. To show them is like, hey, I'm here. I'm, I'm embracing your culture. You know, this is fire. This party. Somebody like Gordo, right? Where they fucking changed their whole name. Yeah, whole that's, new that's identity crazy, and they're man. fucking DJing. And I seen some shit where he was fucking DJing in a fucking in like a in like a soccer basketball field in the slums somewhere in Brazil, and there was yeah. like a millions of people. And I was like, yeah, I was yeah. confused a little bit. Yeah, no, shout, shout out to Gordo, bro. He, I mean, I've always said that that guy, he, he, um, he's got one of the heaviest discographies, you know, like if you see these. What's that word? I don't know what that word discography means. Discography is like, 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 like your library of music that you, like, Oh, okay, 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 He's, he's okay. collaborated with fucking massive names, especially in hip hop, you know, and, um, you know, for, for, for someone to, to, to go ahead and put that down, that, that, that name, Carnage, and put it down and then, you know, take, take on Gordo, which is like, the way he did it was perfect. You know, he embraced it. He was like, fuck, this is how I'm going to do it. You know, RIP Carnage, this is me now, you know? And, uh, and he's killing it, you know? And uh, he's a great human being, bro. Like, I think he built like a school for kids, you know? Like, it's crazy. He's like, he's doing, he's doing shit that is like, like that, that's, that, that's what I think is a, is a, it's a great human being, you know? Yeah. And uh, he's cool. He's always, he's, you know, he's connected to his roots too. And uh, yeah, I mean, the whole, the whole changing your name thing and everything, it's, it's, it's a risk, man. But, I mean, you know. It's a fucking You got to believe in it. You got to believe in it. Have you ever thought of some shit like that? I have. I have because uh, I'm always, you know, a lot, of, a lot of my music, bro, like if you actually listen to it, it sounds very different from itself. You know, like like m one song can sound so, like if you listen to like Perdóname yeah. compared to Yo Las Pongo, compared to Five Hours, compared to... Uh, to bailar, then compare it to like flashlight or or ye, you know, like all these that just sounds so different, bro. Yeah, you're you're if you're tapping into different genres. Yeah, you know, in the same in, in sounds, the same genre. Yeah, I get you know, and like it's kind of like right now I'm working on this album that I'm just like, damn, this is all this entire album sounds so different. I'm like, should I kind of like, should I think I should change my name just for this album? You know, you know, so like this is my side project, and like whenever I whenever you see this name, it's because I'm making this kind of music, you know, but it's like. You know, my, my manager was like, nah, man, just keep it Dioro, you know? It's like, I think for branding purposes, it makes sense, but it's kind of like, I don't also, I don't want to confuse people. Like, if they hear a song from Dioro, and they're like, oh, this is a banger, what else does he have? And they hear some other shit, and like, what the fuck? You know, I don't want to confuse people. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But, um, it's definitely a risk. It's scary. Yeah, I've thought about it. I mean, I don't know. I think at the end of the day, I think I'm just going to keep 
Dioro and I'm just like and, and do it up. Just know that I like all kinds of music. That's why yeah. I make different music. You know, um, you're still getting it, it comes from me. A lot of people always say like you can no matter what what genre, what tempo, what you know, what what speed of the music I'm doing, it's like you can still tell it's me. You know? And like it's like that's what I wanna keep with whatever I'm doing. Like I always wanna keep that, like the the Dioro sound. Yeah. You know? And 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 for that's important because you're able to like do your shit. You're able to keep the culture alive, but still pay homage to the culture you come from. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. You know, right. one of the big things, one one of the things that I've always wanted to get into is uh, a lot of Indian music. You know, a lot of same like Punjab and like stuff like that. Like Indian music? Yeah, yeah bro. Some of the you don't music. fucking listen to no Indian music. Oh, bro, I'm telling you, I have I have a whole entire. Did you do Indian music? Yeah, bro. Like my bro, I have a, I have a. So like, so that's the thing. Like, when I want to make something, bro, like I'll go in a rabbit hole. I'll go into a rabbit hole. Yeah. You know, and um, I've listened to some old. Like, there's different. There's different. It, it, it's its own go, fucking go, go, universe. Go, 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 it's its own universe. You know, like on. Yeah. Uh, you know, and same with even film, bro. They got like Bollywood, Tollywood, all these crazy. Like, Bollywood films. is crazy. You seen the shit where their their movies, their soldiers gets. Get shipped off from a tree. I'm like that shit. Ain't and then their music videos, bro. Their music videos are like their movie productions, bro. Like they're, each. They're like the early 2000 music yeah, they're yeah, like, like, like when well, you need a full team. No, it, it's it's and it's it's a wonderful thing, you know. Like, that's one of the cultures too. Like if I ever if I ever go ahead and st- decide to step in, so I'm gonna make sure I have all my knowledge ready. You know, I need right. to understand this I'm shit. A, I'm gonna throw you a couple of different countries, and yes or no, if you perform, just yes or no. Okay. Afghanistan. No, I haven't performed. No, 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 no. Yes, you would. No, you would. Oh, I thought have I? Oh, I don't. I don't know, bro. Like, uh, <laughs> it sounds like. It sounds like. I don't know. There, you know, there's there's some there's some countries where, where you know, like my agencies, they'll they'll they'll, they'll like they will ask me like, hey, you know, we have this. Like, are you are you down? You know, and I was just like, yeah. Why are you asking if I'm down? You know, like if that's a concern, like, you know, sometimes. Yeah, well, there's a lot of war in Afghanistan. I don't know. Maybe so, you want to so perform yeah, a set so, so, here in Bin so Laden getting killed. There, there are, there are, you know, when it comes to politics and stuff. And like, would it put me at risk? Like, they're going to kid at me, you know? Like, then yeah, don't, don't, don't send me over there, you know? But like, you know, like if there's, 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 there's war and all that other politics stuff, you know, like it's, it is, it is a touchy subject, you know? I, I'm not. That's the thing, man. Like, I, I have been in the position where like I'll be somewhere and they're just like, what do you think of this? Like, whose side do you choose? And I'm just like, I'm just here to play music, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't. How, why do you want the opinion of someone that has no fucking clue what's happening? So you know, no to. Why do you want me to pick sides? You know, like I'm just here to play music. You know? So no to Afghanistan. Or yes to Afghanistan. <laughs> I, I think. Yeah, bro. So yes to Afghanistan. Yeah, kind of saw that, bro. And like, if it's cool, go over there. If everyone's like, if we're all cool, I, don't, I think I think Afghanistan is it off limits? Is it, I don't know. I, that's the thing, bro. I don't do. I don't do. I don't I'm do. Keep it a bug, motherfucker. You better not go to Afghanistan. Yeah. I don't do. I don't. I don't there. do. Like that's the thing, bro. Like I'm over here. Like I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't what country should I fucking? What? What? What, what should I know? I, I, bro, I open up my laptop and I make music. You know. Right, and so and I'm very. And like, yeah, people will say I'm very like. Uh, um, North Korea. Pendejo, because I don't know what the fuck's happening in the world. <laughs> you you wouldn't do North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy. No, like honestly, honestly, like that's the thing, bro. When it comes to stuff like that, like I, I really try to just like. So no, no let's just say Kim Jong Un's like, hey, the the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I like your music. A I'm pretty sure. Dollars. Have you seen? Have you seen the interview? Yeah, have you seen the interview? Around. Have you seen the interview? I'm sure, like, if some shit like that were to happen, and they were approach me, like Kim Jong Un is like a fan, you know, it's like, I'm pretty sure the America, the government, would be like, "Yo, so you gonna go over there? What's up? Let's do this or what?" <laughs> Be like, yeah, I'm Mexican. <laughs> so you're going. Well, North Korea's a yeah, like that's a no. Yeah, man. Russia? Russia? I've been, yeah, dude, there's been some, uh, I played Moscow. Yeah, Moscow's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, yeah, so you have played in Russia? Yeah, I played in Russia. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. Jeffrey Epstein's Island. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. No. <laughs> That's I know for sure though. No, <laughs> for sure though. No. That's where we're not going. That's where we're not going. No, fuck no. <laughs> in a crazy. random house in the favelas in Brazil. Oh no, that's scary. I think they'll love you though. <laughs> that's scary. 
Hey, I think I think you could do that, yeah. You know, in a favela, if like the the leader of the favelas booked you, nice. It's, you know what? It's one thing I re- recently thought about. I was like, damn, like like, well, what if like, like I wonder if like if like uh, imagine like a like, top not, not just you? me, not just me, but just like any <laughs> artist, bro. And there are artists that will go and perform, you know, like, and it's crazy how like you know like hey, if you get caught at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, it's not just that. It's also like, you know, it's scary to get into that. I don't even want to think about it, bro. Hypothetically speaking, El Chapo was free. And he's like, hey, plebe. <laughs> like, but he didn't hit you. They probably like, somebody caught somebody, right? Like, I don't know, maybe you were in EDC, Mexico, and when you were leaving the stage, there was four armed guards, and they were like, hey. And then, 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 and then for the call him el señor, right? Señor, um. <laughs> he has an offer for you, 500k to come do an hour for his wife and, and their friends. They love your music. Mm. You're good. We will take care of everything. Fly right now. You and your team go to Sinaloa. Uh, You're not going? Like, yes uh, that's <laughs> crazy, bro. That's crazy. You gotta like, go. You know, you know, the, the thing is the thing is What's like, her name? Did it? The 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 the, the novella girl? Oh yeah, K K uh K she, But she also couldn't go back to Mexico for a couple of years. So, <laughs> so it's like, it's scary, right? It's scary, bro. Yeah, like, but I mean, what would you do? if, if he's oh, like, I'm going. Yeah? Yeah, because now I have a favor forever. I'll do it for free. Don't worry about it. Because look, it's a difference between what she did and what you would do. She went over there and interviewed him. Mm. She, I think that for like slid in the DM. Like it was something like that. It was a little mm. different. But technically, like let's just say if it let's say if that were to happen, you can't get in trouble for being a DJ that got booked and hired legally. Yeah, I mean I don't think it, I don't think it's necessarily more about getting in trouble. For what if he offered you five hundred k and four it's bottles and bottle service? It's also about running into trouble. I don't. Yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't like you know. I mean, it's you know it's just some serious stuff going on down there. And like, yeah, you know, no, one hundred percent. Yeah. But I think that, like, I, I just, I've always thought about it, like, you hear stories about, like, rappers that have performed or, like, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm like, think about the Corrido artists. You know what, you know, like, a lot of, so, so yeah, like, there's, there's, a, there's a big business in privadas, you know, like, yeah. not just, like, bro, like, I think, like, I remember uh, uh, I was, I was, I got included in an offer that they, you know, I was opening, I was on tour with this big DJ, and they... The 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 the, the, the sheik from the oil the old people that own oil, they wanted him for a party, and the, the, they was like, I have the oil. And they're like, Oh, bring him too. This you is know? offer. Yeah, it's, it's it's crazy, bro. Like that money is like, it's uncompared. Like it doesn't compare to what the festivals what the festivals like offer you, bro. It's insane. Like ten times the amount sometimes, bro. So it's like it makes sense why a lot of people just say, Fuck it, let's just go do that. And 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 that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. if I'm your manager, say yes to El Chapo. <laughs> <laughs> Next, <laughs> I like. A, I think he's more like I just want to meet El Chapo. Like, yeah. fuck if you perform, yeah. but yeah. but it's like, but it's like, okay, like, and hypothetically speaking, you're gonna say no to El Chapo. I'm not saying no to that it's fool. Scary. It's scary. Of that's scary. Course, but okay, to, okay. So all the any, beautiful any, any of them, you know, like it's just any any of that. It's, it's a scary situation. Would you do China? About. Yeah, yeah, I've done China. Have you done China? Yeah, great yeah, atmosphere. For sure. Yeah, you know what? Um, um, yeah, like I've, I've last time I was there, I was supposed to go recently, but um, I wasn't able to because of visas. Beautiful ambience. Every time I, I'm ever in that area, bro. Like I've done, like I've gone down to like um, to Thailand. Uh, China, Japan, you know, Korea. I've done that whole run. And Japan's sick, huh? Oh, Japan's beautiful. That's all there, bro. South Korea, uh, 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 Thailand. It's all beautiful, bro. There's just so there's so much there's just so much out there, bro. There's so fuck, much culture. Fuck, when you were in Japan, did you do the Mario Kart shit? No, you have to get a license for it, bro. That's what I fucking heard. That's what the yeah, homie told you gotta me. Go, you gotta go to the DMV. And you gotta, it's, I think it's easy though, but it's just still like you gotta go do extra step. You know, like fuck, I just want to pull up and fucking get in. You know. <laughs> But yeah, bro. No, but uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm saying, like, like China, China's is dope. One thing about China is that, like, they, oh, Asia, they, 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 like, embrace the EDM culture and genre, like, like a motherfucker, bro. Like, they it's party, beautiful. Bro. I, I've seen videos, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, they party. Yeah. That is sick. Yeah. And that's something that, like, fool, like, how many Latinos you know that have been to fucking Japan and South Korea, <laughs> and we have you to fucking claim that. Like, I ain't never been, bitch, but they auto has. So I've gone before, <laughs> motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And that's just beautiful. I also want to throw you a couple legendary Latino songs, and you tell me if you'll touch them or not. 
Okay. Your remix then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oye mi for 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 Oye mi amor by Maná. No, 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 no. Fuck you wouldn't no. do it. No, bro. Um, my thing is um, if I if, if sorry, say say they were offering me to remix the song, I would, I would. It'd be a crazy thing to say counter. Uh, I say, what if we collaborated? You know, <laughs> um, it's just, I don't know. I you know, uh, um, no, nah, I probably wouldn't, bro. That song is. I, I play it just like that at my shows. I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Edit it, you know? Okay, um, Mago de Oz. Which one? You know who Mago de Oz is? I gotta show you. You've definitely heard it before. I'm good with sounds. I don't. Okay, okay, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll give you sounds. That's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. like, you're a DJ, you. Uh, here. You never heard the song? They're from like oh, Europe, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think. You know what I'm talking about? I go. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. That's that. that damn, that's crazy that you, that you mentioned that, bro. So, I don't know. Do you know Flogging Molly? I don't. No, Fog Molly, I grew up listening to Fog and Molly. It's that style of music. They're fucking dope, bro. That's fuck, fuck yeah, bro. Yo, yo, so that yeah. one, you, so you yeah, wouldn't do... The, I would love... That's the thing, like, about remixing, like... You know, I, I would... Yeah, if, 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 if the world wants a Dioro take on something, <laughs> yeah. cool. But, you know, there's certain songs, like... No, nobody wants a Dioro take on, on Oye Mi Amor, bro. You know, like, nobody, like... It's like, that's a that <laughs> song, yes, nah, bro. You know? But, um... Yeah, man. It's just, what about, like... What about like just some like, what about some shit like Exchange by Bryson Tiller? Which one's that one? Okay. That's the thing, man. Like, see, like all the, right off the bat, like that just sounds very, sound the, the the chords and all that. Like, I feel like my kind of sounds are very. Uppy, energetic, and banger yeah. kind of like status. Like I don't, I don't know what I would. I think I would probably fuck that up. You know? Okay, so like, what about this? Candyman by Mary Jane girls. These, these, these kind of yeah, for sure. Dude, I'd if you did Candyman by Mary Jane girls, mm -hmm. that'd yeah, be yeah. sick. Yeah, that's a, I, I fuck with that. Have you touched Summer Nights by Little Rob? Mm -mm. Would you, would you do it? So legendary, maybe. That's the thing, man. Like, it's I do, I do, yeah. Like, I, I don't know if it's like I have to have too much respect. Only thing, you know, like I'm kind of here to bring my own sounds to the table. Yeah. You know. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I did kind of flip that one song. I'm a big fan of that song. What, Pretty Girl? Uh, uh um, so fly. Oh, Pretty Girl. No, no, no. Um. Uh, so fly, so fly, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did like a little, a little, I flipped it and I got played it at EDC, yeah. And, like, and I, I got in touch with him and shit, like, and he like he was like, "What's up?" And I was like, "What's up, bro? Let's clap or what?" He was like, I'm <laughs> "So he sent me an idea." MC you know, Magic he, is one of the most coolest OGs to us. You know what? He, he, you know what? He he's he's cool as fuck, bro. He's cool he's, as fuck. So so he just he, he 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 sent me an idea and he sang on it, and then he was just like, "Fuck yeah, this, let's let's do this as a collab," you know. And he was like, "But I want you to sing it." I was like, "Me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a producer, motherfucker." I was just like, "I'm like, but, but like we, we want to hear you though, you know." And uh, yeah, we started a cool little idea, bro. Yeah, we haven't we haven't, we haven't developed it any further, but yeah, we got like a cool little like demo of it. You know what's like, crazy? That's old that, school for sure. I was like, "Hell yeah, I'm done a collab." You know what's crazy that like meeting MC Magic, it like blew my mind a little bit because he opened um, when Brownback sold out the Novo. Mm. He was our performance, and he that's what we closed out with. Sick. Yeah, like he 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 had a brown back to like so fly, but even like like he's normal, right? Like like shout out, no, and and actually I, I'm wrong. I met him when I interviewed him on a jumper, but he came and he's short, so he wears like this big ass like shoes. <laughs> and the first thing I did was like threw a little joke, and he was like, ha ha. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, I can fuck with him. <laughs> like, they're like my deal. But then when I interviewed him, I mean, when I just sat there with him, he's such a fucking, and to us, he's legendary. He, he could tour forever with those songs. Yeah, yeah. With sure. Magic City, he could tour forever. Mm -hmm. And bro, one of the best things I ever did was like just sit there, and I was like, dude, you're sick. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool as fuck, and then bro. 
He collabed with Little Rob and Cuckoo. Have you heard that song? Oh, no, I haven't. No way. They have a song. It's super Sick. good. Sick. That makes but, and, sense. And then, and then when I met Cuckoo, me and Cuckoo, me, me and Cuckoo, me and Cuckoo have a really good relationship. And I told Cuckoo, how was it doing that? Because Cuckoo's, Cuckoo's selling out state, you know? Like, yeah, he's doing yeah. his shit. Like, he's viral. He, he could go anywhere, especially in Europe. You know, people love that indie sound. Mm. And he's like, he's like, yeah, I, I grew up listening to him. And I'm like, that's one thing we have to claim. Like, MC Magic spoke to everybody. The yep. Cholos, the Squares, yep. the Skaters, the, yeah. the sports people. the ta Like, he was like, we we all dedicated an MC Magic song at some point. <laughs> yeah. To this day, for when I have, when yeah. I don't have him anymore, but when I was when I first got to his office, I was having parties, mm -hmm. and it was just like a speaker, or one of the homies would come DJ, like, all jungling night. Everybody was vibing to everything. The men at Pretty Girls or SoFly came yeah. on, everybody just was like... It's a vibe, bro. It's, it's a, a fucking vibe. Yeah. vibe. So for you to do that is sick. No, yeah, it's a collaboration, and that's the thing. I don't want to lose the essence of that sound, his sound. You know? Yeah, so yeah. Like, no, it's 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 it's, 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 it's a beautiful sound. Yeah, yeah. And he killed this shit. Are you ever planning on doing some shit strictly for Angelinos, the city of Los Angeles? You know what? Yeah, I, I have thought about. I've even thought about creating a whole event too, and everything like like it, it's based around that. You know, and it's a it's a big project. You know, because it'll 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 involve so much, bro. Because I've I've grew, you know, I grew I grew up in West Covina, which is like east. No, you guys are in Los Angeles. San Gabriel Valley is beautiful, by the yeah. way. So yes, and um, you know, I you know my my first one of my first jobs was at a Bad Boys Bail Bonds, bro, right there, County Jail. <laughs> <laughs> was bail bonds, right, right off the freeway, yeah, right, right across from Union Station. Yeah, yeah. Why right the right. fuck was that your first job? Yeah, you're, just trying to get you're betting on your homies for free. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's like you know, I got to spend a lot of time in downtown, bro, and like just so much culture. Oh, especially like right there, like you have Alvaro Street and everything. Oh yeah, like, fucking. There's but, so much. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, so so um, I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to announce this, but um, you know, anything you want me to cut out, I promise okay. you will cut well, out. Well, well, let's say hypothetically. I have I have I have a show in LA. Yeah. Right. Um. You know. <laughs> you keep looking at him like damn. <laughs> we got me if I'm um, fucking up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have I'm, like I'm gonna want to implement like if like every year I've been able to implement more and more and more. You know, because first you gotta make sure you, you can sell the tickets. You know, get the bigger venues. You well, know. Well, you could do that. That's one <laughs> check. <laughs> yeah. So last year we did the Palladium, and uh, that that was you know that that was great. And now you know, now we have the opportunity to go bigger. And uh, now I'm, I have a little bit more room to, to, to try to curate not, not just my own event, but kind of like my own experience with everyone that comes through, you know, and uh, where it won't just be like just a DJ, you know, it'll, it'll also be like other shit. And like it's all very L.A. influenced, you know. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's that for something like that, you know, I, I had to prepare, you know, make sure I can get a big enough venue to do it and to like. You know, fuck yeah, I'll prepare something special for, for yeah, for sure. Because I think, I think that's something that a lot of, I've, I've, I mean, even... Um, you know what? Now that you mention it, I'm going to hit up MC Magic. See. MC Magic performing at your LA show be sick. <laughs> <laughs> something about you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's the thing, though. Like, I, it, it won't even be like that. It will be something no, like... No, 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 of course. Where, it'll, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be something like where, like, it'll... it'll, it'll no, no, he'll get a set. <laughs> You know, like he'll get to like it won't be. That's what I'm saying. It won't just be like a DJ thing. It'll be like yeah. you get a little bit of everything. Okay, but let's be honest. Have a group or two come. Yeah, out yeah. This is what I'm thinking, right? Like, let's say like MC Magic performs. It's like you know how divided this crowd's gonna be. Like, <laughs> like you have other young kids, right? We're just fucking doing it up. And shout out MC Magic, love it. So great fucking performer. Talk box is amazing when you see it up close. That's fucking sick. I was fucking hugging this fool while he was doing that. I was like, oh my god. With the two minutes. Kind of got a boner. He was. I didn't tell him that, but <laughs> but it was million. just amazing to see. So like, I could imagine these like super old school cholas. Just out of the auto pull up show, in the like, lowriders. Pull up in the lowriders. <laughs> hey, they walk out. They walk out. Uh, imagine these cholas they, with sharpie eyebrows. They, they, they walk out. They walk out with candy on their arms. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking up the best. They're performing. <laughs> <laughs> That was sick. Like <laughs> fuck. That's cause like, I'm imagining like some food just doing some stupid, like doing a light show to the tolas. <laughs> they just start gangbanging. <laughs> With their looks, they got the girl looks. They got hella moose on. <laughs> you gotta sell hot cheetos at your show. For sure. Like they we gotta sell them up like cheese? That. That's, that's fucking that's ghetto, fool. So that's <laughs> <laughs> So that's no, what I'm saying. You can't have 
like it gotta be like a fucking uh MD sponsor it. Yeah, I'm saying like I, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my best so you know like to, to make it like everything that you fuck that like, is LA, bro. Yeah, you know, like Las Donas that make the fucking hot dogs, bro. Oh yeah. I'm yeah, gonna try yeah. to have them inside the, the street event vendors. Instead of outside, you know? Tell them like, to charge a little less though, they'll fucking be taxed. <laughs> <laughs> Ten yeah. bucks a hot dog is crazy. <laughs> fuck it though, we support the street vendors. You know, we'll get a trompo in there somewhere, you know. Damn, yeah. that's that's fucking funny, dude. You have it fucked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck sure, out a bunch of can. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be sick. Yeah, it'd be sick to get an artist too to like be making a fucking mural too. You know? Yeah. I, I you know, I, I, I had um, I forgot, I forgot his name, bro, but uh, he's, 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 he's uh, from our culture too. Um, we were in Australia together, and uh, or oh, something Robert Vargas or something like that. Um, and like he, we were in the same city together. I was like, bro, I was like, come to the show, bro. He was just like, let me fucking paint something. While you're performing right next to you, I was like, okay, fuck yeah, fuck you yeah, were like, okay. yeah, yeah. and work. like, bro, he fucking like, I think I don't, I, he did like a, it was, a, it was me DJing, bro, and like he did it like within, it was quick, bro. I was like, damn, this motherfucker's fast. Robert Vargas, his name was Robert Vargas. Yeah, let's give him a shot. Why you find this huh? shit? Shout out, Big Chief, huh? That was a different thing that we did together too. It was like Robert Vargas or something yeah, like that. Well, shout out Big Chief. Uh, dude, I don't know if you smoke or not, but... Well, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, yeah. Bro, that shit helps me sleep. Yes, Helps okay. me get rid of headaches. So well, I big do them medicinally. Chief, I'm, big on, I'm big on that shit. Yeah, yeah. Doing. Big Chief is cool. Um, the, What they're really known for is their pants. They do have some great little ganja in there. So, yeah, man, make sure you vibe out, have fun. with. It is a t-shirt. You might not have to wear the t-shirt. It probably runs a little tight. I don't wear them. Where Shout out sleep? my boys. Where, where to sleep? sleep? Yeah, I, I, we're big. You sleep with t-shirts on? I'm just kidding, bro. Oh yeah, I was about to say. I, I know you're lying. No, 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 no. I can't do it, Bobby. I, 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 I got boys. to. Yeah, I like, like shirtless boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this. But no, nah, no. Nah, Shout out Big Chief. They have Fuck good it, ganja. Bro. They have some. Their pens are really amazing. Thank my homies, you. my homies love their pens. Make sure you guys go get your Big Chief, all over California. Edibles are crazy. Oh, okay, cool. The, and and the bottle in there, don't drink that. It's it's like a it's like a bong cleaner. Like if you have like a bong, <laughs> that's what it is. But don't drink it. I had to warn my homie. He almost drank the shit. And I was like, you idiot, read the fucking thing. Probably gets you fucked up. Or are you tired? <laughs> <laughs> that's why it fucks you up. <laughs> that's not how I really want it. But that's sick. Appreciate I think it, things like that. But I can't wait for his show. Yeah, bro. I definitely want to like, like I said, like if I'm gonna do LA, I want to do it right. Every like, I probably want to even have a paletero out there, you know, fucking. Like, yeah, and 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 have you like slowly that. like, I, 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 and I get what you mean. I, when I meet super duper famous people like you, you guys work in <laughs> steps. Like you, you like every month at least once a day, you probably sit there and think of a dope new idea, and you just <laughs> incorporate it to your notes or your whiteboard or yeah. whatever you have. Yeah. Well, was, well, like for for something like a show, you know, like obviously my dream is to. To, you know, be able to do like something huge, you know. But you know, you gotta work work your way there. And um, yeah, I have a great team, bro. I have a great team. You know, they they've been they've been they've been crushing it. So it's not just me, bro. It's not just me. Like yeah, you know, I have a crazy merch team, crazy online social media team. Um, you know, uh, my management is amazing. My boy yeah. Eden, he's taking no, he's everybody. killer. I, for every time I see him, he's on the phone. I don't know why. He I think, he, I think he's... he lies sometimes. <laughs> no, he's well. You know, it's, it's you know this motherfucker. I, I always tell him, bro, let's watch the show. You know, we're like we'll have like an hour or two to kill at the hotel, and and this fool will be on his phone the whole time, and we'll be watching a show, and I'm just I get so fucking mad, and then I'll tell him, Eden, what did they just say? And this fool will tell me exactly what the fuck they just said. Wow. It's like he can watch the show. ADHD, I can't do that. <laughs> like if I'm focused on one thing, fuck you. Yeah, no, but this motherfucker, he'll be like watching something and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm watching the show. But he's, he'll be on his phone. And I'm just book you to fucking perform from El Chapo. <laughs> <laughs> what the show's going on? Yeah, shout out, shout out, Eden. You know, yeah, that, no, team. no. Every time I see him, he has an AirPod on. Mm. And I hate when people have only one on. <laughs> No, no, that's that's bullshit because <laughs> let me tell you why it's a fucking problem. Let me tell you why. Because I hate listening to one thing and listening to like like I hate like especially like growing up, it blows my mind how my little nephew could be at a party watching a show and La Chona's playing in the back. He will fucking if like when I'm at the gym, I fucking hate when my homies talk to me. Like if we're gonna talk, let's talk the whole time. <laughs> Don't ask me questions, you made a fucking thing. I fucking hate it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. like it's so and, and and people do that and he's good at that. Every time I said the day I met him, he had an airpod on. I was like, oh this guy I don't fucking like him already. <laughs> I'm like, how is it that you took a shot, you cheers, and then you told the security guard that we're good at the same time? <laughs> Shit blew the f fuck my mind. I was like, it's crazy, it bro. fucked it's me balance. up. It's it balance, fucked man. me up. I do have a bone to pick with you, though. Why, Why you let Josh DJ and you didn't let me DJ? 
Bro, that so 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 you went on a crazy weekend. I did, I did. I, by the way, it was amazing. I, I enjoyed watching it from this. Side. You know, you know, you know. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of act like an artist right now. Um, so so no 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 no, no 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 not you. This isn't on you. This isn't on you. So we had I think I don't know I don't know how many people on that guest list. What are you doing, fool? Oh shit, fool, chill, fool. I took one of these fucking royal honey shit packs, fool. Shit got me going, brother. Use code Cheeseman for 20% off. I was like, Eden, I'm just gonna give you a bunch of names. I don't even wanna hear anything, bro. You know? Cause Eden, Eden, I know he's gonna be like, how are we gonna take care of these people? There's already too much people. I'm like, I don't care, Eden. Figure it out. For, did he have an airport on? <laughs> I'll be texting him. I'll be texting him names. This is what I mean by like I'm acting artist. I'm like, Eden, I don't care. Figure it out, dog. You know? It's like it's and I never I never really say that. But there's certain shows, bro, like where it's just like it's so many people I understand, but it's like we gotta take care of these people. You know, like, you know, like, and, and, and like, and that's the thing, like, well, like, there's only so much space. And then plus, I wasn't even like the headliner. I also had Afrojack, you know, like Afrojack, I was opening up for Afrojack. So it's like he had, he had half of that space. And I was just like, fuck, man, it was going to be hard. And like, and I saw you, I was like, oh, fuck, what's up, bro? And I was just like, I was like, ah, man, I, but trust me, bro. Any other time, no. you're there on a, any other weekend, brother, come on stage, bro. Watch. What did I say? What did I say? I said any other fucking time. That's no, the, it's okay. I, it was, it was, it was know, a pretty way, fun By crazy. the way, seeing you DJ and do this shit, what's beautiful? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's, that's not good. And, and, and it's funny because me and my homies, we talk shit. That's what I'm known for. This is why I'm here. Because I talk shit and we clown. They're like, ah, you don't really know you for the whole time. They're just talking shit. But, man, fuck <laughs> but it was cool. But but it was dope because I was, I was my, my homies came with me. I gave you the names and yeah. they came and they had, we had such, and, and I've done this a lot where I regret not being in the crowd. Oh, and okay. when I'm in that crowd, I saw the the way you were DJing and performing. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, fool. And and shout out everybody I saw the day before. But my homie Peasy was like, bro, that was the best set of the weekend. Oh, that's cool. And yeah. it was crazy because you were just kicking it with your homies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could have passed me a yeah. shot, maybe. Hey, but, but, man, like, but take me up on that offer though. Take me up on that. No, 100 percent Mark no, no. my words. Mark my words. I got you. Appreciate next, you. No, next, of course. Watch, watch, watch. Thank next mega set. Next watch, bro. The thing is, is that's the thing, like, like it was like, crazy though. It was hella packed. There's just, yeah, there's only so much I can do. Yeah, like there's only so much, so much I can do when there's like, when there's 120 people that like I'm like they're like are are, are with the oral, you know, and it's just yeah. like, fuck, you know, like who's gonna go on stage? Who's gonna get to be back there? I'm just Eden, Eden. I think I think that that's the one. He's like, you know what? Whoever shows up first, they get to you know, and then we can try to kind of. But it's, Maneuver, it's tough, yeah. you know? no, no, no. But I it guarantee was, you, any other we can watch. No, no, 100. Yeah. percent No, and like, like I said. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, for, for sure you'll have a bottle and you'll be DJing. And I, and <laughs> no, I'll be not. in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be nice. <laughs> no, no, no. But honestly, it was so amazing to see. It was like I was like, "Fool, this was mm -hmm. sick!" Like, and 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 we had my homie, little weirdo. You know, he's like he's like a rapper. You know, and the motherfuckers be too gangster and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, motherfucker, you're gonna come enjoy different shit with me today. <laughs> and he was with me the whole weekend, and That's he cool. saw you performing. I have videos of him just being like, he he, you know, he, you know, they're too cool, but he's like, all right. <laughs> and he like sparks a cigarette. I'm like, fool, why are you smoking a cigarette? Like, blur vibes, brother. Like, be normal, fool. Pop some shrooms or some shit. Take a pill, motherfucker. We don't want to hear you do this shit. But he, but it was, but it was just dope to see you. And it, it was dope to see you have, because I know shit like that rarely happens. Everybody you had on there is busy. Everybody has their own schedule, their own tours. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. And I'm pretty sure for your the homies, stars aligned, like, bro. The stars aligned. They were like, we're we're here. And Jester had to play that same night. And uh, he did, he did. EDC. I saw him. I saw him. Yeah, yeah, yeah EDC. So it's just like, I was like, I was like, damn, you're gonna have time. He was like, yeah, bro, I'm I'm fucking making it happen. You know, it's like, pull up then. You know, fuck yeah. And uh, um, yeah, bro, I love I love Jester. I love Four B. Those those are my yeah. guys. GTA, Red Tape. You know. So. That was that was amazing. Well, dude, I don't want to hold up too much. I had a great conversation. You put us up on some gems. Like I'm, that's funny. I wish you know, El Chapo. He might hit you up soon. <laughs> His wife got released. She's kicking. He's, some. Gonna, he's gonna, because of this interview. I'm gonna run into this situation. Wife, what if because of El this Chapo's interview. wife's free? You know that, right? Because She's in Long this Beach. Interview, I'm gonna be put in this position. Like. <laughs> no, I don't want. Don't fuck first. Of all, don't put that on me. I don't want your friends to be like, oh, you got kidnapped. He DJ for <laughs> biggest cartel man of all time. <laughs> But if you do get a 500, I wouldn't mind a couple of 5,000 or 10. <laughs> you got me the gig. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Before we get out of here, 10 upcoming DJs that you're really looking, that you see doing their thing and... You know, uh, I love I love the whole thing Red Tape's been doing, and uh, as my boy, it's a fucking, you know, for, for La Raza and shit. Fire. Like he's doing he's doing some good shit with with, with the house. Um, my boy Dave Mack, bro, he's from Guadalajara. He's fucking got some bangers. Oh, so you um, told me about him when, when we talked off camera before. Yeah, you were telling me about yeah, him. bro. He, he's he's crazy talented, man. It's just you know, it's trying to shine. I'm trying to take him on tour. The thing is, he's, 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 there's a process to get, you know, the, the, the oh Mexicans, yeah, the, the visa, visas and bro. stuff like that. Hundred yeah. percent. So um. You know, Los Duties, you know, I got, you know. What's that? Los Who's Duties. That? Los Duties is a duo, bro. Um, they're sick as fuck. And uh, I already got a couple collaborations with them. Um, but yeah, they're talented, bro. They got like upbeat really fast, like fucking, yeah, yeah. you know, poochies, poochies shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was dope. They're cool as fuck. Um, El Compa Noise Kid, he's, he's también that, that another another homie that I brought him up at EDC Mexico. Um, there's a lot, bro. There's a lot that I can name, and uh, yeah. I'm, I'm all I'm all for I'm all for like bringing them up because like when I when I got into this shit, you know, I remember when Hardwell was taking on Danik and Dyro on tour. I remember like um, you know, like Afrojack and like I remember the Sydney Sampson and all that, like all that, all that, like people would take like their crew and shit on tour, and that's how people kind of like got to know other artists. You know, Steve Aoki took me on tour, you know, and that's how I gained a lot of, a big following. And that's what I kind of want to do. I want to pay it forward and bring these other artists on tour with me. No, hundred percent, and 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 it takes and see that, and bro, that's why that's why we gotta give your flowers and your blessings because a lot of people won't do that, and you're doing it out of love. It's not like you're yeah. asking for anything. You're just no, like yeah. I believe in the, your process. Yeah, like bro, I just, my, so that's the thing is, there's just too many. Like my boy Ray Burger, you know, like he's probably one of the most funnest, uh, you know, DJs. Like, and bro, I seen him. I, the, the fucking Tejana kills me. Yeah, yeah, he's, the, the he's sombrero. Got the look and, too and everything, bro. And 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 he kills it on his remixes. Yeah, he's got the Theo vibes. Bro, he got the Theo, sure. and then he has the fucking the yeah, Texas mullet. Yeah, that's it. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, bro. That fool's got it. And, and he wears glasses. Yeah, I'm like trying to tell him too. It's like, bro, you should make like little burger, uh, burger plushies, whatever. Like, oh yeah, to throw them out, bro. Like with a mullet. <laughs> with a mullet. A burger with a mullet, bro. El burger you know? cop. Yeah, bro. And like, yeah, that was a crazy look. Yeah, he looks like Bo Bundy. You yeah. know, Bo Bundy he for sure. Like slings cocaine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that fool looks like his girlfriend's a butona, straight up. <laughs> but this is to rave music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I come back, Ray Burger. Uh, I mean, gesture, honorary, fucking Latino. Ooh, yeah, right Latino, there. yeah. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He was sick. I, I love that food. Um, and uh, yeah, bro, there's a uh, compa DJ Chewy from uh, from New York. He's cool as fuck, bro. Sick. He's like, he's crazy because you see him, he's like, this is the most huggable person, bro. But like, he's he's street, bro. He like, he t tags. I remember one time, like, oh, so you need to introduce me to him. I'm a tagger. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go so, tag with him in New so, York. So, I, I, I'm about to, I'm about to uh, uh, admit some shit here. Um, if you ever see a Dioro in New York and in a venue, I'm not gonna tell you which venue, but if you ever see like a sick piece of Dioro, I didn't do it. It's my boy Chewy. Oh, he did it for you? <laughs> I was like, bro, can you sign this wall for me? <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, SOBs. No, he did it with the SOBs. No, I don't know. No, well, for, we don't want to burn the spot, fucker. No. <laughs> Shut I don't, your pie Where did we play? Uh, it was no, it wasn't even in New York. It was somewhere else. I think it was Missoula or some shit like that. Where the fuck is that at? Where I fucking uh, Missoula, <laughs> Missoula, <laughs> Missoula. You know, sh shout out Missoula because like for a city that's not known, they fucking party. Montana, bro. Oh, you're like by Boston. No, no, no. Montana's up here. Up here, bro. It's where, Canada. It, it's where like there's nothing, bro. Montana's like I think there's like there's there's no speed limit. That's how that's how wait, that's wait, how much wait, they wait, lack wait. people. Yeah, yeah they, they, there's they, no speed limit because that's how much they lack people, bro. Like, you go as fast as you want, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they no, should, no speed what, limit, what they should fucking if any <laughs> the more people die from going fast. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't fuck. There's no speed limit in Montana. Is it, is it Montana? Is it Montana? Missoula, yeah, Missoula, those places. Wow, yeah, what do you guys do when you guys go out there? Just after the show, just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> no, oh, there's no. no traffic. You guys get there an hour before. You guys land an hour before. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> Fuck the sick fool. I know this food. No. This food, fucking dude. the food, dick. I'm trying to think. There's no speed limit. That just tripped me out right now. I, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I'm just saying, like, it seems like a place I want to have. There's fucking nothing out there. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But it's beautiful, though. <laughs> they party, they party hard. hard. They party hard. Oh, yeah. yeah you're probably cool. like, you're like Drake over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, That's still pretty fucking fast. Oh, oh shit. Okay. 
It's okay. So then, so then there's no daytime speed zone? limit. I mean, no nighttime. <laughs> what? <laughs> school, what? Zone, school zone 50. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That's a trip. That's crazy. That's fucking that's a trip. But man, shout out all them DJs. But I'm, there's two DJs out here that I really fuck with. They're young kids and they throw their own event and it's fire. And, and, and they're my homies, and I, and I be shitting on them that I know you. I be like, yeah, that's my boy. I got his number. <laughs> and then, and, but I think, I think you would really like him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you their shit. I, uh, it just, it's just, I think, like, they're from L.A., um. and they're two kids, and they just fucking, they do the, the, homie, uh, the homie Bailey J and the homie I Am okay. Stallion. They do their shit. Okay. I Am Stallion? I don't know exactly how to say his name. Okay. But they're fire. They do their own events and shit? They do their own events, and it's crazy. Like, it's booming. Like, 500 people. Okay, dope. And underground shit, they, they do an event and fucking on peak going like crazy. So I'm like, 500 people. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, there's 500. But no, but I'm saying like, their DJs coming up and I'm like, and they're Latino and I'm like, I'm like, and I told him, I was like, cool. I'm having the oro and I'm like, that's cool. and he's like, that's cool. And I'm like, don't trip, I'm gonna talk about you. All right, cool. You, yeah, buddy. shout out. Shout out to the oh, yeah, yeah, Bailey, he, uh, I've oh. seen him work on shit. I'm like, damn, this looks way harder than producing hip hop beats. <laughs> he was trying to find all types of crazy shit, but yeah, yeah man, I appreciate you coming, Delta. No, thank you, Papa. And I'm, I'm, yeah. please take me on. Take, take, yeah, take yeah, my don't trip. I'll be there. Take my word for it, bro. I'm gonna be there. I'm telling you, that's the one thing. That's 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 that's, that's, that's the best. Yeah, I just, I just, summer? yeah, I just got, yeah, we just got more offers. Oh, I'll put, yeah, I'm gonna go shirtless too. Maybe we should do a shirtless show. Yeah, yeah. we got, yeah, we, we fucking. Um, I'm telling you, bro. Uh, um, that's a, I'll take good care of you, bro. No, no, of course, no. Like I said, I understood. I got you. And it was beautiful. I did pay I'm for. Glad a you brought it up because I got yeah. What? I did pay for a fifty dollar drink. I'll invoice you and your team later. <laughs> no, no, bro. I'm telling you though. I'm I got proud of lady. She let my tip. I was like, wait. Cash. I'm glad you brought it up. Watch. No, it was amazing. No, but no, but like I said, amazing seeing you. Thank you for what you do for the fucking culture. It is beautiful. No, it you, is. Bro. I can't. I can't thank you enough. Behalf of me and the the cheese man will do no worse. Yeah. Everybody sure. that watches. I'm gonna next. If I come back, I'm gonna bring you uh, an yeah. ad right here. Yeah. Whatever you want to bring me, tap, tap it in. You know what I'm saying? But man, shout out Deodo. Uh, shout out his whole team. Make sure you, you go watch him at. I don't know how many concerts you have coming up in Vegas and LA. Yeah, or yeah, anywhere uh, in the I'll be, I'll United be States. Stuff on Instagram. I'll be posting stuff on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Make sure go follow his Instagram. Dior.com. 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 Yeah, Dior.com. Everyone. Okay, yeah, perfect. Everyone. Make sure you guys go follow them. This has been another episode of Cheese Mail with Duno. Duno. Make sure you guys like, Shout comment, subscribe, and let's DM him for my $50. Shout out to Cheese Mail with Duno. Another episode down. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Bow.